trying to save my energy for the podcast, bro. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's why he wasn't as hyper when I got here? Yes, bro, I'm trying to save it. <laughs> Clown boys. Is that Chris? Is that Chris? <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to the podcast that goes unnoticed. Welcome back to the spot. Don't make it hot. We love you, even if it's not hot. And welcome back to episode 62. Shout out to all, shout out to all the listeners right now on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube. Patreons, y'all get your own personal shout out in the end. And uh, as, as I said, previous episode, as we said, we, we, we were going to uh, have a guest on this week, which we did bring on. A returning guest. Not seen since 2020, 2022. God damn, bro. Fucking long ass time, bro. But and the yeah. last time he was alone was a minute ago. Even, nah, even yeah, longer yeah, than yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, but as, as you guys can see, our, our boy yo, yo, yo. pulled up again on us <laughs> after like, I don't, I don't know, like years. It feels like <laughs> years, bro. It it does, like that's how year. it feels like. It feels, like it feels mad year. long. But I, I know I know I haven't really like seen you in a long time, bro. Because I know we, I seen you like that time we went to the gym. But like, yeah, yeah. how you been, bro? Because I haven't like actually had a Yo. full conversation with you, bro. Uh, I've been good, bro. Just really working, bro. Like that's that's really all I've been doing. There's really nothing else I do besides just work, go mm. home, and just chill. I guess you could say. Yeah. I was part of a core for a 15. I know it's mad like cringe because I'm old as fuck, but that took a lot of my time, bro. That's why I couldn't do it. You guys yeah. have, were asking me since like a couple months ago. Yeah. But like you know, I actually used to practice on the days that you guys would film, so I you know I couldn't really do it. You know, by the time I finished over there, got yeah. here, just you know, it yeah. just coincidental too much. I was like, nah. I just keep it till after we finish that shit. And how's the the deli going? It's going good, bro. Uh, it's tough. It was tough a couple months ago, but um, like uh, after like the this like the, after the November December era, like the January February is always like a little tough, but it like picks up uh, once it starts like the the weather starts getting nicer outside. So you know, thank yeah. God for that. So it's it's alright though. We chilling, bro. We chilling. Valid, we doing good. We doing right. I also also saw that like something happened to Oreo. Right? Yo, yes, bro. So it's because my dog, um, she's like, well, how do you call it? Like, uh, it's she's called old? spaded or something like that. Oh. Like when they take out their um, like reproductive system. Uh huh. So, my son Oreo, we never did that for her. Uh, for neither of my uh my dog's puppies, like, cause she had, we kept two of her babies, yeah. um, chocolate chip and Oreo. We never did that for ni- uh, neither of them, so they both did, had it. But just Oreo, like, uh, I guess for her, um, there's a possibility that you could get in, like, to complications with it because you, you didn't take it out or something. Long, because she never had babies, like, something like that. So, yeah. um, so she ended up getting, like, an infection, like, you know, in her reproductive system. And then, like, it's basically like a human, bro. Once you get an infection inside, you know, it could rush into your bloodstream and it could just basically, like, mess you up, like, really, really bad. And, you know, they're dogs, so it's, like, different. Yeah. And so, um... So, yeah, bro, she got that infection, and we had to run, like, everywhere, bro. I drove to Jersey at, like, 3 a.m. It's because Damn. it's a, an emergency hospital in Jersey that's open, like, 40 minutes away from here, bro. Damn. Yeah, so I drove, like, at 3 a.m. Uh, we went to the, like, the stand for dogs, and they told us, like, uh, my dog was, like, mad sad, bro. It was, like, uh, I, obviously, I grew up, I didn't grow up with my dog, but, like, I've seen it since I was, like, 10. Cause when she was born and stuff, she's like mad, like hyperactive, like mad aggressive, low key to like strangers and stuff. And then like when she was going through her little phase, bro, she was she just looked like defeated, bro. And it just it hurt so bad just seeing her like so like kind of helpless in a way because she was really weak. You know, she had an eight, so, like just a bunch of stuff, bro, that was going on with her. So then we took her to the Staten Island Hospital. They they basically gave her like um like shots in order to get her like. Uh, how do you call it? Um, like okay, in order to make it to Jersey. Like if yeah. we would have left to Jersey the way she was, she probably, uh, she probably wouldn't have been able to make it because Dang. she was already like you know going through some stuff. Like her her heartbeat was really slow. Like her pulse was really slow. Like yeah. her energy levels were low. Like everything was like fucked up. Like all her charts, like her temperature was like, I think low or I think it was low. Like mm. so we just uh, yeah, bro. And we we stood there. That little visit alone to that hospital was two bands, and then taking, and then once they got her um like ready enough to make it to the Jersey one, we had to take her to Jersey. Like I said, forty minute drive. Got her. Uh, they put her down. They put her in. All this other stuff, and then they just told us like, hey, so like um, what we're gonna have to do is we gotta charge you uh. 75 percent of what the bill might be at the end of everything that we do for her. 
right now, and then you guys could uh, pay the rest when you guys pick her up. So it was like 6000 right then and there to leave as a down payment to treat her there. Then when we went to go pick her up, it was another like four, almost four, 4000 Wait, so in total you... 11000 bro. Basically around... 12000 and, and before that, we had taken her to the hospital like a couple, like uh, two days two days in a row before that. Because I we went on um, Saturday morning. I took my sister. Then she took her again Saturday night. And then that happened Saturday, uh, Sunday night when we took her to the hospital and then we went to Jersey. So it was continuous. Like she went... She was completely normal Friday night. Saturday, she was a little messed up. That's why we took her to the vet. They told her, like, oh, yeah, this is happening. And then Sunday, she was just, like, done. Like, And it just took a week. And she was, my sister was like, bro, she was literally just in the kitchen with us eating. And then just, I don't know where. Just went, yeah. just went to her room and just laid down. And then from that moment on, she never got back up. Like, she was done. Like, she was, she was suffering, bro. Well, that's fucking crazy how, like, dogs, whenever they're, gonna, they're going through something like that, like, so either, like, either they're about to die or they're getting sick, they don't, they, basically distance distance themselves from their owners because they don't want their owners to like feel bad for them yeah 100 yeah, percent, yeah, yeah. bro i think um I, I heard stories about like uh dogs running away like um i seen a video it was like a ring camera video mm -hmm. and like the dog like she was really sick right and i've seen like like in the video it shows like the the dog looking at the house oh. and obviously looking at the owners and shit and then it looks back it walks away Looks back one more time and then it just runs away. Bro, that's, that's so sad. sad. Nah, it's, and it's they crazy, literally, bro. My fault. They literally found the the puppy dead. Like Damn, was, the, the, the dog was dead. Dogs are dogs are like crazy, man. Because it's like there's like a saying that they that I've seen. It's like they're a part of our lives, but for them, it's like where their whole life's kind of in a way. Like they yeah. they see us from the moment like they their babies, their babies, and then they they grow up all the way and. Then they just go, but we stay, you know, like yeah, Damn, that's fucking it's a sad, part. It's bro. a yeah, bro, and it's it's it sucks from it sucks that like how much dog care really is. Like I feel like a lot of people don't really talk about it. How much like how expensive it yeah. is to take your dog to the vet mm -hmm. or to like keep up with stuff like that, like shots and, and stuff, like shots like that. Like it's it's tough, bro. Yeah. Like not everybody has that money. No, that that's that's a fact. Um, my brother he told me that when he uh when he had our remember our cat Bella, yeah yeah yeah. So uh, he like. Obviously, took care of her, give her all their shots and shit like that, right? And there was this one time when she was sick, like, really, really sick. And he obviously took her to the vet and shit. But at one point, the vet was, like, trying to put all... Like, kind of force all of these other treatments and all these other, like, things that she didn't really need. Yeah. Because she already had all her vaccines. She already, like, was basically taken care of. He brought... He basically just brought her in so he could, like, the vet and the doctors, whatever, could solve whatever, whatever is was, going on yeah. with Bella, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And then they just... And then they just brought up other shit. Oh, you, you might need this. You might need that. You might need this. You might need that. And he's... And my brother's just like, bro, what the fuck? Like... I didn't even come for none of this. Like, yeah, I came for this. Like, and my brother's thing. basically saying, like, low-key on the low, they'd be charging extra just so... They, they, they get make you for more money, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying, bro? Like, bro. Mm -hmm. Especially maybe if it's like a private, like uh, veterinary or whatever like, it is. I feel like it's like that for us too, though. For, like for doctors and shit yeah. like that. Yeah. Like going to hospitals and stuff, emergencies. Nah, hospitals would be crazy too, because yeah. I, I heard like, oh, like certain shit about like, oh, people charge too much for town in hospitals, whatever. That's a different thing, though. I don't know. Yeah, that, that's a different thing, though. But like, what I wanted to get into with the whole animal thing is like, our barber, Uriel, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He actually told me a story about his dog, too, as well. Uh -huh. And like, basically, his dog got ran over, right? Damn. And like, uh, well, I was getting a haircut, he was telling me this shit. And uh, he was just saying how like, um, so the dog was about to die. And basically, the, the fucking... It's crazy how the fucking vets, like, tell you straight up, like, yo, you have to pay everything right now. If not, your dog is dead, basically, right? Yeah, bro. Happens like, they, they literally do that shit, bro, because he told me, he's like, yo, bro, the doctors literally told me, yo, either you pay, like... I think he said... He could have dragged it, bro, I don't know, yeah. but he said 10000 or some shit, right? Uh-huh. 10000 or the dog dies. And then and then he said that his, his kid, his son, was like, yo... Dad promised me like our our dog won't die. Oh my <laughs> Yo, god! Oh and my and god. then he's like, I didn't want to pay no fucking ten thousand for a dog, right? But he's like, fuck, like. What choice just, do you? Yeah, got, and that, like you kind of have to now. And and then he said he did it and shit, and he was just kind of tight, like how they just kind of like made him pay and shit yeah. you know like so like yo you gotta pay now type shit yeah bro if not your that has your dog dies bro that's you fucked guys, up you guys knew that my the oldest my oldest dog passed right cc you guys knew no no i didn't you guys know. didn't know nah. cc passed yeah bro when? november november that just passed 
in 2022 she passed away bro i mean uh, i think i came on the show around you, you, that you, time but no, I didn't, you, you came on the show in uh in december you, you didn't say you, i you didn't want to say it. i don't know i feel bad like sometimes bringing something up like that but she, 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 she the past That's bro crazy. damn bro i didn't even know yeah, that bro. bro yeah wait like the, like because of sickness or because it's age oh, by age bro she was like at least like 15 16 maybe my, oh, my baby damn. yeah bro she passed on me bro. i know i know uh one of my cousins uh dog died like i think last year it was due to old age also like same 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 age as you i mean same same age as cc and uh i i, I remember going to to their crib and like visiting and seeing the dog how old it was like it was it, it was like bl- oh. blind in one eye oh man barely could like walk and it was nah, like just sad to see him like like cause I, 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 I seen him I, I used to be afraid of the dog yeah. and now like looking at him now it was kind of like yo fuck Damn, time really flew by that's so sad yeah, yeah yeah and just like what you were saying bro like when we when we, when she first got sick, when she first got sick, like bad, it was like uh, like June of 2022, like almost a whole year ago. We took her to the vet. Yeah. We just uh, you know, brought her in, told her what's going on. The vet basically came in, just like how you said, straight up said, yeah, um, she looks like she's basically like kind of yeah. done. Like, yeah. um, so we'll give you guys a choice if you guys want to put her down today or like tomorrow. But like, she's not making it past like at all. Just like that, bro. Basically, like. Yeah. And then we're just like, what the fuck? Like, I told my, I looked at my sister. I'm like, damn, like, I don't want to do this. Like, I don't want to make this decision. Like, this is too much for me. Like, this is a tough decision to make. Bro, we took her home that same night. Bro, she fine. she was fine, like, till November, bro. Like I said, like, you know, those were a couple months later. Like, imagine if we would have decided in that moment because the vet who's a, a professional is telling you. Oh. In your face, like, yo, this is going to happen. And you just listen and you do it. And then, like, she's gone. And then it's just like, you know, she she might have had some some fight left in us. And then, you know, I'm not saying that maybe she didn't she didn't suffer those 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 months, but that she was with us. She was with us. You know, she was she was always doing what she wanted to do. You know, sleep, run around, anything, eat, like be with my dad. Like, I think that's the best part. At least her final moments were like with 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 my family. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bro. It was sad that day. Like I was working and my sister calls me, and it was it was a tough it was a tough phone call, bro. I know I but, know it's inevitable, that, like because I know we all have dogs here, but when it does when that when that time does come for for Rocky, yeah, I'm gonna miss like hearing his barking and stuff. It's gonna feel fucking weird like not hearing the barking yeah. and stuff. Yo, bro. don't even put it like that. God damn, it's bro. sad, bro. For yo, but on some real shit, this is something that I always thought about. Isn't it weird to you guys how like dogs don't like to like look in the mirror, like. You guys ever noticed that? You guys ever put a dog in front of a mirror and they just, like, don't even acknowledge it that it's there? My, well, my dog kind of just starts barking at it. Really? Yeah, Cholo. It's uh, interesting. If, if uh, Actually, both of them. If they see the reflection, bro, they get tight. What nah, the Rock, Rock, Rocky, uh, when, when I put him next to the mirror, he, uh, I think I th- either he looks at it and, like, it looks at his mir- uh, reflection and he doesn't, like, care or he just looks at it and then, like, he, start, he just stares at it that's it he doesn't like bark <laughs> <or nothing laughs> what if you guys are giving your dogs bro, existential crises or like, some shit when like, i put my dog, when I put any dog? dog in front of the mirror the dog doesn't react bro it just like like looks and just like looks away or looks away the other way like it doesn't, doesn't they does the... they don't look into the mirror which is crazy because like you know as humans bro we look into the mirror at least like at least like maybe like, times, like, like 50 times a day maybe like <laughs> Actually, even, I know you. I know you. Be, like a long look, but it's just like a quick like glance, like you know. But dogs don't do that shit. Like I don't know. I mean, we all we all see by light, right? Like our like we see because of how light reflects into our eyes. Yeah. yeah. So maybe for them it's completely different. Well, obviously it's different, but they may like Imagine see they don't like see themselves different. Like they may. Yo. That's what I'm saying. Like maybe they see different. Like maybe they the way the mirror looks to them is like a completely like weird like yo thing, that's you know what so I mean? like, true yeah like they may not even it may not even be a mirror for them because it's like the way they pick up light is different from their eyes like that's fucking i don't know i've always thought of. about that shit bro i've always found it so weird how they just don't look into the mirror i'm gonna i'm gonna put rocky now nah, you again let me see what he's let me do, see bro, what test it bro test it no, no funny that's a good ass theory because i know some dogs don't see like color they don't see yeah. color. they only see black and white so it's like if certain rays don't reflect what the fuck are they seeing, right? Yeah, bro. It's but what weird. do they see the same thing though? Like I don't know. I don't know. I, it's I different. Know. Uh, it's the whole mystery, like bro. it's the whole shit with the weird mirror shit. Like when you put like, oh, you, when you did put, you like, see that shit? What? Like let's say you put like um a, I, 
Uh, you fucking explain yeah, it, but you want to explain it so bad. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you, know, fuck. you can explain it better, but I'm just saying, like, let's say you have a piece of paper on the fucking mirror, and then you put, like, an object on top of that I shit. Think, oh, okay. all right, yeah. There you go, yeah. and like you can see you can the still fucking see behind it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah, it's yeah. like, why, why can you still see around it and shit? When you go like this around the mirror and shit, you can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, under, I understand what you guys are saying, hundred percent. Yeah, bro, that's crazy. I never thought about the whole dog shit. The whole dog shit. Nah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck, I've never thought about that shit. Yeah, nah, for real, bro. I always questioned it, like, why? I'd be looking at them, like. Look in the mirror, like, why can't you look in the mirror, but... What's crazy is, like, I feel like dogs are mad loyal for no reason, bro. Yeah. Like, like, I'm not gonna lie, like, sometimes, like, I get mad tight at, at Cholo and shit, like... Why? Bro, like, he be pissing everywhere, sometimes he does shit he's not supposed to, he barks, <laughs> he barks, like, for no reason and shit, and I scream at him, obviously, and stuff, and it's like, I scream at him, the next second, he's trying to lay next to me, yeah. and it's kind of like... Because they bro, don't see... Are you not supposed to be mad at me, bro? Like, 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 you're not supposed to love me so much, bro. Like, I'm kind of mean to you sometimes. But, like, for some reason, like, I feel like, I don't know, it's crazy. They just, they just love, bro. They can love unconditionally, I guess. Like, that's the way it goes for them. Bro, what the fuck is going on with the audio, bro? What are no, you doing it's not. That? No, because a window keeps popping up saying Eric trying to fucking synchronize audio or whatever. What the fuck were we talking about, bro? My fault before the audio started fucking up. Uh, how mean to Cholo and shit, but oh, he's still like oh, fucking me like, and shit. How, how, how loyal dogs yeah. could be. I mean, it, I mean, they they say that fucking dogs is like man's best friend. That's why. Yeah, definitely, bro. Has well, to be something. Also, another thing, actually, uh, thing that our barber told me and shit, Uriel. I keep saying <laughs> yeah, our yo, barber. He be he be he be having some crazy shit to say. Yo, he was nah. He he is mad funny. He is but funny. anyways, uh, he was like, um, yo. So apparently, like, if you're good to your dog, like, you know how they say that when you die. Well, that's what he said. I don't know. I've never heard that shit in mm -hmm. my life. But apparently, that's what they say. Well. That whenever you die, you retrace your steps. Every single step that you took when you were alive, you like retrace your steps back all the way until you were born. Mm -hmm. Damn, that's a, that sounds kind of crazy, right? It's like you literally relive your whole life. It's I mean, kinda, that, that, that's basically cool. like like you getting flashbacks, no? I guess you guess type thing. shit, yo. That's that's basically what it is, yeah. And uh, he said that if you were good to your dog, if you ever had a dog, that um, the dog is gonna lead you and make it easier for you to retrace all your steps. Oh. Uh. I've been thinking Rocky hates me because uh, like sometimes, well, before I used to step on him I'd accidentally, oh accidentally, my God, bro. bro. And uh, he used to like bar growl and like bite me but now he doesn't do that so i think i kind of like got even though you step on him and shit sometimes? yeah and it's not on purpose and i kind of wish i could like let him know like like yo it's not on purpose i'm sorry but he's yeah. just beginning in the way sometimes he not, just be around or something no it's just because bro i'm, I'm just blind it's literally it's just, yeah. can't see in the dark man. bro <laughs> I have a question for you guys. What's up, bro? It's uh, it's oh it's, it's, it's like a funny fucked up question, but all right. Since we hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, bro, for interrupting. It's crazy how you. And this video is sponsored by Manscaped. Manscaped. Shout out to Manscaped for sending over this package. They low key saw how crusty my beard was looking, so they were like, "Let me hook hook our boy show up." The, and show, show them the package. Show them the package. Shout out to Manscaped right here. As you can see, they sent over a bunch of beard products. They sent over a beard shampoo, beard conditioner, you know, to keep it smelling fresh, looking clean and stuff. Then they send over a beard oil to make it look shiny and as well as a beard balm to keep it nice and together. You could style it. It's kind of like a, not necessarily a gel, but a balm where you could like fix it to the shape you want it. They sent over a brush and a detangler just to make it look nice and stuff. And after they're done with that, they also sent us the Beard Hedger Pro, which is a, uh, I mean, what is it, like a trimmer or? It's a trimmer, yeah. Yeah, so basically you, it'll, keep, it'll keep your beard looking intact, keep it, keep it put together and uh, it has different guards it goes up to 10 like the way your barber be uh cutting your hair and stuff depending on how you like your beard you get some people like it a little longer some people like it a little closer to their skin so it has a bunch of settings for that facts and it is waterproof it is wireless and it does use the skin safe technology shout out to manscaped if you want any of these products that i just mentioned that we just mentioned just now or any pro other products like boxers they have a bunch of other products for either your nose for your balls the the code will be right here on the screen unseen 20 for 20 percent off and free shipping as well shipping low key be expensive nowadays but yeah shout out to manscaped manscaped.com we love you guys 
I have a question for you guys. What's up, bro? It's uh, it's oh it's, it's, it's like a funny fucked up question, but all right. Since we hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, bro, for interrupting. It's crazy that you didn't ask about our weekly recap or anything like that because you usually start the pos- podcast off like saying, "Yo, God, all right." So, what'd you guys do this week? What's your weekly recap? <laughs> all right. So you want to do that then? I, then no, I'm just saying. I, I was just surprised that you didn't do it because I mean, because I didn't, I didn't have like an eventful week. That's why I was like, "Fuck!" Like it's not it's not worth talking about. <laughs> all right, bro. <laughs> Wait, I mean, did you do anything like the past week or not? Uh, to be honest, no. But I was, <laughs> you know what, what, what about you? What about you? Uh, no, really. I guess just uh, on Monday I went to go play, bro. Yo, wait, was, soccer? Uh, yeah, I went to go play soccer, bro. And my friend, fucking, bro, he trucked me. Like I wasn't like, um, you ever been like hit like kind of blindsided where you're not expecting a hit, so your body's like like the cracks like, type shit. Yeah, like your your body's not hard. It's just like kind of. Soft. Oh, it's all oh, I know I what you're talking about. Shit, yeah, 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 yeah. We were both running like that, and my body like I wasn't expecting to like go body to body with somebody, and he just like fucking threw the shoulder, bro. He got me in my shoulder, bro. I felt, bro. The moment I got up, I felt the pain in my shoulder. I don't know. I thought he fucking broke something, bro. I was so tight. Oh my god! I, hate that shit. I told my bro, like, bro, like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, why would you do that? Like, why are you like just violated? And uh, you know, when we play, like, you know, we be saying shit to each other. So I guess he took it as I was trying to like, like, fuck with him because of what he just did. So he was talking yeah. back to me, like, he. And, but he didn't realize that he genuinely had kind of yeah. like hurt me in a way. Yeah. So and I'm like, I'm like. And, like, you know, I'm an emotional person, bro. I don't give a fuck. Like, I'll cry if I, if I feel pain. Like, bro, I started low-key tearing and shit. I was tight. Because, like, in that moment, bro, like, <laughs> Monday night, week just started. Shoulders fucked Already up. Already like, fucked up. Bro, <laughs> shit. like, my, I got work. Like, you know, everything was going through my head. Like, my dad is going to kick my ass. My mom's going to be mad. Like, I'm thinking, like, I'm nine years old getting hurt at the park, you know? Oh, my like, God. I was like, no. Uh, we kept, we still kept playing and everything, but I just was like, "Yo, like, what's your problem? Like, why would you do that to me?" And um, I'm, and he was like, I said, like, he would, he thought I was just messing with him, so he was like, "Yo, like, um, I just told him, like, yo, you, sh- you should have just apologized, bro. Like, just say sorry that, like, for yeah, what yeah, you did. Fault, like, yeah. I would have just like not gave a fuck like that, but you like talking back to me and kind of like trying to fight with it, like, gets me tight. Like, just apologize, be a man, and just move on, like." Not and, gonna uh, lie, not gonna lie. It can be like like intense and funny at the same time. Especially, I don't know, like every time, like when you're there, and then I know, and you, especially when you're there, it's mad funny because whenever someone gets like um, megged or uh, or someone like like someone's ankles gets break uh, broken, you just start laughing, and, and I'm like, bro, I'm such a dickhead. <laughs> you know, it's mad funny, said, bro. It'd be fun, bro, because it's like that's the only time where you get to go out and really just enjoy your <laughs> time, like just like. You know, just go and just do what you want to do. Like, no one's really giving, like, give, I don't know. It's just, like, yeah. freedom. You feel free, yeah. yeah. It's really freedom, bro. Like, you could just do whatever the fuck you want, say what you want. And then at the end of the, t- at the end of the time, at the end of the game, it's, like. Boys and shit. The boys, like, everyone shakes hands, everyone's lit. So, it's, like, you know, it's fun. But it's it's, it's funny, bro. Like, but that's it. That's, and then, like, I went to the ER and shit, bro. I was tight. Because like, of your shoulder? Yeah, bro. Because I couldn't, I couldn't move it, bro. Like, it literally, that, that, that same day, bro, my arm was like this, and I couldn't move it. I was struggling to take off my cleats. That's why I was, like, you know, type upset, like, type what crying. Like fuck? I was... Nah, he got me good, bro, because, bro, it's Alan, bro. Oh, my God. You ever got a body yeah. by him, bro? <laughs> nah, he, yeah. has fucking, he has tank, a fucking... fucking tank, bro. strong fucking body, bro, so... Yeah. It's no just reason, pure strength, yeah. bro. I don't even know why, but he just does, like... So, he just fucking just caught me good, bro. And, like I said, I wasn't expecting it, so then he had my body, like, mad soft, bro, just... Got me good, bro. Oh, I my arm shit. was like this. I, I couldn't even raise it like that. Like right here, I felt like the pain. And I fractured my wrist. I've, I've gotten a bruised shoulder before. So yeah. I kind of know what the pain feels like, bro. I was like, I was so sad, bro. But that, yeah, like I said, I went to the ER. They res- they gave me some prescriptions. They did x-rays on me. said nothing was broken. So I was like, all right, whatever. And today, like, I actually feel okay. I still feel it, though. Like, I, it like right on shit. top, I, it hurts yeah. like a bitch. But Damn, it's starting bro. to get better. I mean, like, I guess it wasn't really the, this week, but speaking of injuries, I did injure my ankle twice already. Twice? Like, and, bro, I'm fucking stupid, bro. Like, so, uh, since I got back into playing basketball, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, I haven't played basketball in, like, I want to say mad long. Like, maybe two or three years. Two years, I guess. And uh, I was telling Abby, I'm like, yo, it's crazy how, like, everybody plays sports and they get injured and I've never gotten injured. <sighs> bro, that was the fucking worst thing that I could have said out loud, bro. The, the week... The week after I said that, I hurt my knee. 
that was the first time something ever happened to me. And I was telling Abby, I'm like, bro, I don't get injured, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, I was telling her, I don't get injured, bro. Every time, like, I roll my ankle, like, it, like, I don't roll it, bro. Like, it, like, rolls. But, like, for some reason, my ankles are mad strong, right? <laughs> you got and, that, and, yeah. and, and they, they, like, go back like this. Like, it rolls, but it's like, nah, bro. Yeah, yeah. And, like, whatever. But this time, it was my knee and shit. I remember I, t I talked about it on the podcast and stuff. Then, like, a couple weeks later, bro, I was playing basketball again. And my ankle goes like this. Like, I fucking fuck the same up my... leg? On the same leg that happened? The same fucking leg, bro. It's the left one and shit. Like, I, like it felt mad weird, bro. Low-key, I sprained my ankle and I couldn't walk, bro. Like, it, it was fucked up. I was going to work limping low-key and shit, but Damn. I was still going. And then it, after two weeks after, it, it felt better and stuff. And then um, when I went to Pennsylvania, right? Yeah. Like, there was a basketball court, oh, like, up the block and shit. And I went, and then there was kids playing and shit. So I was sure. like, right, fuck it, let's play. And then again, no, I fucking hurt Over my there? fucking ankle, bro. Damn. And, like, I, I, ever since then, bro, my ankle's been feeling weird. Like, like when I go outside to, like, work out or, like, box or whatever, every time, like, I flex it like this, it feels weird back here. It still mm. kind of feels weird over like here, your, bro. Your, your tendons are pretty, like, like sensitive like, in yeah, a way. Yeah, yeah, tender and shit. Tender. So it's kind of like... I, I'm playing basketball tomorrow, so hopefully I don't get injured. That, hopefully I don't get injured again. Yeah, yeah. But if if it's trash, like getting injured and shit, and not being able to fucking play. And speaking about what you said, I'm sorry for it's talk, it's talking od, but I know exactly what you feel, like how you felt, because this one time when I was playing basketball, right. So when somebody sets a screen, right, a pick, whatever. Yeah. You run into that shit accidentally sometimes without noticing, right? Because your teammates don't call it or whatever. So this one time, I remember I was at the park. And this is at the time when I didn't work out. I was scrawny as hell. Uh -huh. Like, one one thirty, bro. That's how much I weighed probably, right? Yeah, yeah. And this big-ass dude, bro, set a screen. And I didn't notice it, bro. Bro, that shit was... Also, you fucking, like... Bro, bro. It was, like, the craziest feeling ever, bro. I ran into him, but my body is so fucking, like focused on just getting the ball that i didn't know he was there so i'm not getting ready for contact like you said yeah, bro yeah. so when i did it bro like i literally felt my whole back crack bro. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like it felt that feeling like when somebody picks you up and cracks your back yeah you hear the crack that's mm -hmm. exactly how i fucking felt and i went like like that bro and like low-key like i <laughs> like you said i was about to cry bro on some shit bro yeah. and like everybody was just looking at me like, yo you're fucking baby you're fucking soft type shit like you should have just went over it or whatever and i'm just like bro like i, I didn't want to seem like a fucking pussy and shit because it's the park and stuff everybody's gonna look at you like a fucking pussy and shit so i kind of just sucked it up but like it's tough, bro. That it's shit hurts like a, a bitch. A blindsided hit fucking hurts like a bitch, bro. Especially from OD. coming in from full speed, bro. Like, high speed, bro. Yeah, bro. That basically shit basically bulldozed me. Just boom. I was you, like, you, oh. you, I, Nah, I never experienced You never felt that nah, shit, bro? bro nah. Yeah, good. Yeah, I've, I've gotten <laughs> hurt a couple times. I mean, I've had crutches and shit. I remember that when you were in, I think... Was that in high school? Or? I was in I was in college, freshman year in college. I got crutches. I was running oh, crutches. You told the story about you having to fucking. Bro, I fucking walked campus with my crutches That's... like two hours. It's like, <laughs> fucking crazy. Shit, bro. Fucking bro. I mean, the only time I got, I guess I got blindsided was when I broke my arm. It was like soccer too. I got I got like bodied and then I fell and like I just broke my my my. I wanna I wanna know if it's my wrist, but like it's literally like right here, bro. Like okay. all this right here, like it just popped out and then. It popped out. Yeah. Damn. What the? Who was it? Who injured you? Do you know? I don't remember. You bro. don't remember? I don't remember. Fuck that kid. Like but that, the so. question I want to ask was, since we were talking about dogs with four, so let's say let's say there's a burning building, right? Uh -oh. And you had <laughs> and you had the choice to either uh, save your dog, like for your instance, one of your dogs. For your instance, one of your dogs. And then my instance, Rocky. For your dog, I was about to oh, say. So a dog, or uh, a baby. Which one you're saving? Bro, that's not even a fucking, like, hard question that's to a... answer, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> I already know what you're about to say. It's not even a hard question to answer. Why Why the fuck would you even question that? Wait, is a baby a random baby or is, you, is your... It's, it's a random baby, yeah. It's crying and shit. Like, it, like, like on he... some Spider-Man shit? Yeah. Oh, my God. Spider-Man 2 shit. Bro, burning building like I'm sorry Cholo bro you're dying bro I'm saving the baby bro I'm sorry I thought you were going to say you're going to save Cholo no I'm saving the baby sorry Cholo I think Cholo would save the baby as well he would not save me I'm saving my dog hey, I'm saving my dog bro what's up Rocky 
Over a fucking random baby? I don't know, bro. bro, bro. I, I, I asked my brother the same question. He was like, bro, that fucking baby could turn to the next fucking Hitler or fucking serial killer. But the same thing, that baby could turn into the, the next, the next person Einstein. Person right? to say, yeah. Yeah, no, but not in this fucking world. Everybody that says something gets fucking eliminated. <laughs> Yo, conspiracy theory, <laughs> bro. You know what I mean, though. Like, <laughs> nah, I know what you mean, but I mean, it's a random baby. I have no like personal attachment to the baby, so I, it's I, a I, tough I question. Even, yeah, but it's, it's all in the sake of what if, right? So yeah, it's, it's what if exactly never happened, but yeah, I don't know. It's a very tough situation because, bro, it's like it's a it's a human life versus like a dog life. But it's like this is your dog, though. Like, Cause you're not fucking attached to Cholo yet. That's why. No, I'm not, bro. I'm not saving the dog, bro. <laughs> I'm not saving Cholo, bro. It's yeah, a baby, it's bro. Tough, like, bro. Tough, yeah. like I'm sorry, bro. Like, the baby could live like 80 years plus. This motherfucker's only gonna live with me for like 14 years of my life, bro. All right, so I, as you're as you're carrying the baby, you can you hear fucking Cholo like, ee, ee, ee. like he's like he's looking at you and like as like fucking like rubble starts falling at him. Oh my god. <laughs> You look, you look back, he's looking at you all sad, crying and shit. I'm sorry, bro. He would have done the same thing if he was a human, bro. I'm saving my dog. Yeah, I'm saving my dog. Bro. I can't. <laughs> can't bro. Nah, I don't know, bro. It's tough. I don't want to talk a, about it That's like anymore. a fucking hot take right there. It like, is a hot take. I feel that's... like I'm I'm being like mad open about it. Like, it's going to come out as wrong, but like I'm being honest, bro. I'm not saving my dog, bro. I'm sorry. I mean, it's, like, it's a what if question. You can't like, like what doesn't matter, bro. It's like, bro, like. I can't. I'm not saving him, bro. I'm sorry. All right. I love Cholo, bro. You know all, right, all right, so a baby or a family member? Family that, member. That's not even. That's that, again. That's not hard, bro. The fucking family member, bro. Okay. Yeah, same. same, same. That, that's that's not hard as well. Like, because uh, if it was the the other way around, the 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 baby's family, they would save their baby over my family member, bro. Yeah, yeah, of course. So it's, it's, it's the same way. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, but like. Right. Fuck Cholo, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Yo, Fuck Cholo, I'm, st- I'm staying on that, bro. Like, I don't know how you guys chose your dogs. Bro. That's crazy to me. Cause nah, I love my dog. What you mean, that, bro? I know what you mean, hundred percent. Especially because you're you're a father. Bro, so imagine the baby crying, bro. You guys are telling me y'all gonna ignore that shit. <laughs> I'm gonna tell my dog to run out. I'm gonna get the baby. So I'm gonna save both. <laughs> That's of what them, I'm bro. saying. Bro. The, 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 like the the real answer that I would actually choose is like I would take both of them. That's not, well, yeah, that, that's, being, that's being a pussy, bro. You're trying to avoid the, like... No, like, I already answered the question, but I'm just saying, like... Like, if, if, if I'm really thinking about it, maybe I would try to save both. But yeah, I'll probably die. The situation is save both, because I got two arms. Maybe one arm. Bro, I'll, 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 I'll have the fucking guilty conscience, like, fucking uh, Spider-Man, when, when he saved the, the girl, and then the fucking firefighters were talking, he was like, yo, one poor soul was left in the building. They couldn't couldn't be saved. Oh, shit. He was shit. like, fuck, it was my fault. Oh, my God. Oh, not man. having that guilty conscience on me, bro. All right, so so I saw this thing, right? It was this clip on on TikTok that I saw, mm-hmm. and it was this guy speaking about how. All right, listen, guys, just listen before audience as well, bro. Before you guys like are about to like answer the question, just let me finish it for right? Because it's gonna sound dickhead in the beginning. Okay. So like um, this guy, and it's gonna sound like cancel material as well. But just listen. <laughs> okay. So this guy, he was just saying how he's against uh, veganism and shit like that, and he's also against Christianity, right? But, 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 what he was saying was, is that he's not saying that those things are bad. He's just saying that it gets bad when people are saying that there's nothing else other than that. Like everything else is wrong. So he's basically what I, what I saw is what he's trying to say is that when people have a belief or an opinion, it's valid. But when they have a belief in an opinion and then they try to say that everybody else's beliefs and opinions are wrong. That's when it becomes a problem. Mm-hmm. So, what do you guys think about that situation? Like, you know, I think it, I think I think it's I think it's a uh, a valid point. I feel like I sound like Beetlejuice right now. I think it's I think it's. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, that fucking video. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, 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 bro. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, I think it's. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, yeah, bro. Uh, <laughs> That's bad. For real, not a hundred percent, bro. Because yeah. it's just like. Everyone's entitled to their own opinions. So when you tell somebody that the way they think or their opinion is wrong is kind of messed up. I mean, certain situations, obviously, some people's opinions are fucking retarded. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to an extent, I, I do agree with that. Like, um, with that, like Christianity or veganism, like you know, everyone has their own belief with it. So everyone, you know, he was, he, was, he it's, it's not just specifically about that. Like, mm-hmm. uh, I guess that's what he was just what he was talking to? about. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I get, I guess he that's his like. 
his like audience that's what he speaks about yeah. but like mm-hmm. what i'm trying to say is just the whole like having your own opinion your own belief because i feel like how everything is on social media specifically like it's like you can't really have your like you see I, i'm afraid to get canceled even with the hard take questions that we just like uh the what if shit like, yeah, yeah i feel like yeah. i'm gonna get canceled and shit right so it's like it's crazy how everything is now like oh if you have a certain opinion bro you're seen as a bad person just because that's your opinion or mm-hmm. okay a certain belief or it's wrong if you don't believe what the majority believes in you know what i'm trying yeah, to say 100 percent, bro. all right so but like so what are we doing about races then that then them saying like yo like oh we should be separated like but that's different saying. you know what i'm saying that's different like yeah. that's that's clearly wrong yeah, but like yeah, when yeah. something like all right bro like watermelon I don't like watermelon. Oh, I'm automatically stupid. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Even though majority of the people say watermelon is the best fucking fruit, whatever. Yeah. It's just an example. And I say, I don't like watermelon. Oh, automatically you're fucking weird. This and that. So, you know what so, I'm saying? so basically the guy is uh, what we talked about before and a different person. Uh, what's, what's his fucking name? Um, the, the fucking real life Leatherface. What's his name? Ed Gein. Nah, nah. Yeah, Ed, 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 Ed Gein. Ed Gein. Hey, yo, how the fuck you know? Cause I, bro, I when I was in high school, I I used to write about um, my forensic teacher made us write about uh serial killers. Serial killers. So I, I you remember that one? Na- I remember some names. He was fucking crazy, nah, bro. The yeah. shit that he made out of people is. But what I want to say is, cause then you say his mom was basically like an extremist. Yeah. So that's what. So the, that guy was basically an extremist then, cause he says that everybody else is wrong, but my shit's right. Exactly. People like that, and it kind of that that kind of made me think of like how. Uh, I'm, maybe I'm gonna offend people out there and shit, but like how certain theas be with religion, like I feel like, uh, like when when my family comes over right for rosarios and shit, because we recently had a rosario from my uncles who passed away, mm-hmm. and uh, I feel like there's uh, certain people who like just like fucking feel the need to judge you because you're not as religious as them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, bro? And like that that kind of triggers me low key because okay. like I feel like people shouldn't be that way. Like if you're religious and stuff. Just kind of worry about yourself and stop yeah. judging others and like shit like that. You know what I'm, tr- yeah, what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know yeah, yeah that, that, that's kind of like what I like. I really wanted to touch on. I don't know if you ever experienced something like that. Like, oh, like if you don't go to church, like people bashing on you or like, yeah. or like, you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, yeah, that, some shit yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I feel like that, that's how it's, that's how it is. And oh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about like the Hispanic household because I don't That's know what I'm trying to say. You see what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know how it is in other fucking households and stuff like that with other religions. It's other like a Hispanic thing, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. like, I do know that when it comes to Hispanics, when you, when you say that you don't go to church or you don't believe in God or whatever, you don't believe in, um, La Virgen, then they automatically crucify you for not, like, what the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with yeah, you? Yeah, like, facts, you should, bro. You should believe in it. Mm-hmm. But like, I mean, we all have our own minds. We all we all have our own fucking thoughts. We can't just like all you know. Yeah, believe the same all, shit. Yeah, you know facts, hundred percent. And, and I'm like again, I'm not saying that what they believe in is wrong, bro. Yeah, I, 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 I'm mind. not against any of that, but I'm just trying to say, bro. Like if if I feel like if people are trying to like bring people into like any type of religion or whatever, mm-hmm. don't judge them for not believing in your religion or like your beliefs. Like be more like. As to question why they don't believe in that or like what's stopping them from believing in that instead of yeah. saying, yo, you're a fucking dumbass for not believing. Yeah. Like try to figure it out instead of just automatically judging everybody for their beliefs and yeah. shit. For not yeah. having the same opinion as you, I guess. Exactly. So um I don't know if you guys saw I, I know you're a big soccer fan and shit and I mean you <gasps> watch, I forgot about this. Yeah, you watch I, I, I think I know what the fuck you can talk about. Alright, so uh, we can talk about. Uh, you guys obviously know uh, who Vinic- Vinicius Jr. is. Yeah, right? yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You, you guys saw what happened to him? Yeah, how he was yeah. like, like then he got like racially abused racially, by yeah, the fans and stuff. Bunch of slurs and stuff, yeah. calling him a monkey, this and that. Yeah. And uh this also also happened to like uh, a player that I guess we relate to in a way, like um and it happened for the same team. His name was Hugo Sanchez. I don't oh, know. Oh yes, I've, I've heard about this. Yeah. Yes, so like uh, when he f- like, I guess when he was around the time when he was in uh, Real Madrid and shit, right? Mm-hmm. So like they, a lot of uh, I guess opposing them fans or some shit mm-hmm. like that. Maybe even the fans themselves or some shit would call him an Indio. I think when he used to play for uh, Atletico? Atletico de Madrid. It's, oh, when uh, he, he first used, came to Spain. When he then. first went to Spain, he used to play for Madrid's uh, rivals. Well, same city rivals, yeah. Atletico. I, and I, yes, bro, they, they used to I, say I that actually, shit. I actually did research because I didn't want to seem like a dumbass talking <laughs> yeah. about him and not really knowing about soccer or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But I saw that he uh, he did play for Atletico. He was playing for Pumas and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And um, he played for them. And at first, like, they wasn't accepting him and shit. Like, they were calling him Indio and shit like that. Yeah. 
But and then I saw a clip like when he first came to Spain, they call him Indio. Mm -hmm. But when uh, he was gonna leave Spain, they call him Hugo. That's why I kept saying. Mm -hmm. That's why I kept saying it because his name is Hugo, but they call him Hugo because he was a fucking goal scorer. Goal but whatever. Scorer, yeah. But I wanted to get more into the racist shit. It's crazy how like my from some reason my brain never thought that racism was out of the United States. You know what I'm trying to say? Nah, bro. I, yeah. I, told, I told you. Like I in, feel like it's. Low key, kind of worse in other in other country. We're basically, I mean, bro, is that's like, who is racist it though? Just happened, so I guess in a way, because Vinicius is not like the first player who. Nah, definitely not. To. It's, it happens. What? Yeah, you're right. You'd you're be right. surprised how how much it really happens in 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 European soccer. Like I've seen people from Italy. I know. I know. That. Neymar has been. Yeah, uh, I was gonna Neymar, say Neymar. People from France. People Ronaldinho. From, Ronaldinho, yeah. like just 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 everywhere, bro. But, uh, from different. Um, I remember what was it. Uh, like 2021 or 2022 in the Champions League, a, t a team called Slavia Prague. Uh -huh. I forgot where they're from. I think they're, from, if I'm not mistaken, they're from. Is there is their symbol like orange? It's red. It's like oh, it's a mind. red star. It's like I think it's called Red Star Belgrade. I don't know some or Slavia Prague. I don't know uh -huh. some some team like that. Basically, from a country from Europe. Uh, that one of their players like says some has some racist comments on another players, on like the other team's player. Yeah. And uh, they stopped the game, and there was like a big heated argument on the field and shit. And uh, like the guy like puts his like the guy who did the the racial the slurs. racial slurs like he puts his head down. And he's asking like he don't even know what's going on. Yeah. So it's like a you'd be surprised how how much how it really, really happens in, in in different countries in in Europe. Yeah. But I feel like they they do it to get a rise out of the players as well. Like they know like mm. what's gonna get under their skin. Yeah. Like. Kind of just have to ignore it type shit. Yeah, like, I feel like that's what they do sometimes. But, I mean, it's still unacceptable regardless of the way they do it. Like, it's 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 pretty messed up, especially because I started watching soccer 2014, 2015. And they were doing it at that time. I remember that, yeah. like, you know, there were situations that had happened then. And it's still going on no, now, I'm almost 10 sure, years I'm pretty later, sure it so. got so bad that, like, FIFA themselves had to, like, ban, like, certain, like, uh, like, certain, like, chance from crowds and shit like that because i remember uh at a certain point like even like uh it wasn't really racist but like whenever like somebody would kick the ball like Mex mexican oh the fans, mexican fans yeah they, they would be like yeah, Puto. yeah, yeah, yeah they like, yeah they did so, that shit so for it's real. like I, i'm pretty sure fifa even addressed like the whole like racism and shit like that but i'm i mean they yeah, they they can't just fucking look at every single person and what they're saying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's yeah. like fifty thousand people in the stadium. Like Type in, even back in the day, bro, early two thousands. Like I know, um, there's a player for Barcelona, Danny Alves. Back in the day, like yeah. he was about to take a corner, they threw a, they threw a banana at him on the field. Oh, what he do? That's, that's... He went to the banana and picked it up. Oh, oh, I see that clip. I see that clip. Yeah, and kept playing, bro. Yeah. I don't, I don't understand. Know. I don't understand racism. It's at just all. Yeah. it's just a lot of different things, bro. But yeah, even back to, back in uh, the Champions League, had the, their slogan was like "Say no to racism." Like I for remember, yeah. for a long time, like yeah. that was like their thing. They would pose with it, like just have it on the shirts, on the jerseys, and everything, banners. So yeah, it's uh, it's surprisingly, it's still like an oncurring thing in soccer. Yeah, like, I don't like, think it's, it's ever gonna go away. Thing. To be Definitely honest, not. like racism has been around for like forever, bro, and it's always is. gonna be there, no matter how much we fight it. Like, there's just gonna, always gonna be that one person that's always gonna be like weird. So, and then it's, uh, I was gonna say about the whole Vinny situation. Uh, I know he uh, he had uh, tweeted like, "Yo, that uh, La Liga basically." Ignored him? Ignored him. I, I forgot what he said. Huh? Let me find the fucking tweets, bro. Because I know he said some shit and then, like, they, they tweeted back at him. He said, it wasn't the first time nor the second or nor the third. Racism is normal in La Liga. The competition thinks, the competition thinks it's normal. The federation does, too. And the opponents uh, encourage it. I'm so sorry. The championship that once belonged to Ronaldinho, Ronaldo, Cristiano, and Messi today belongs to races. A beautiful nation which welcomed me and which I love, but... But which agreed to export the image of racist country to the world. I'm sorry to for all, for the Spaniards who don't agree. But today in Brazil, Spain is known as a country of racists. Uh, and unfortunately, for everything that happen that happens each each week, I have no defense. I agree, but I am strong, and I will go to the end against racists. Uh, even f even if if even if far from here. So yeah, that's all he said. And then yeah. Damn, let, yeah, same, that bro. that kind of actually just uh, gave me something else to talk about. What have you guys ever experienced racism? Like, like, 
like just blame racism out in the public. Like, <sighs> yeah. I don't know whether you guys were, were at the store, or school, whatever it may be. Like, did you guys ever experience something like that? Uh, back in um uh middle school, yeah, when like uh there was a whole thing like oh you fucking Mexican and stuff like that, like the, from the kids and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. I remember. I remember being on the bus, like, on the last day of school. I think it was last day of eighth grade. I, I, either eighth grade or seventh grade. I, I got off the bus, and there was these um, these black kids in the back, and I had, I had to get off to the back. And at one, one, uh, as I was getting off to the back, like, two of them had kicked me, like, off, like, the fuck out type shit. And, yeah, like, at that time, I, I, I was, you know, I was kind of like... Bro, I wasn't... If I were you, I wouldn't have started shit either. Like, yeah. fuck that. So uh, th- th- that's that's the time uh, I did experience racism, and I do know that uh, a couple of times when I was with my mom, and I was I was a little younger too. Uh, my mom would get like also uh, racial slurs to her, like "you fucking Mexican," "you speak," stuff like that to her. Uh, where, where did it come from, though? Uh, it came from uh, whites, or it, it came. From, I, I don't really remember either white or or black, bro. To be honest, like the majority. Oh wait, I'm sorry, you didn't. I honestly, I don't think I have. I feel like for it's real, it's, never? it's only because sometimes I guess it's hard for people to know what I am. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. It's uh, so I never really have kind of experience. I got, I feel like the only time I felt type disrespected in a way was yeah. you know we own a store. Yeah. Italian store, bro. I'm not a fucking Italian. So I've I've had like one or two people walk in and say like. This is an Italian story. Is a, like everybody here is Mexican. Like, how is this Italian? You know, something like that. Like, I guess nah, that's that like racist, the only bro. thing uh, I felt that was like pretty fucked up. Cause it's just like, does it really matter what kind of race I am? If I know how to make the food, why the fuck does it matter what I am? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, if bro, every, like like that, ratatouille, bro. Anybody can cook, bro. Well, you know what I mean? Like, and also, so I'm saying, bro, uh, I, was, I know what you're gonna say. I was gonna say, bro. Like, majority of like the. The restaurants out here who are Italian, the back usually like Mexican. Always Mexican. Bro. Bro, bro, pizzerias, pizza. Oh yeah, pizzerias. yeah. We have a fucking pizzeria right next door, Cafe Milano, full of Mexicans making the pizza and shit. Yeah, bro. bro, nobody's questioning that shit though. I know that's what I'm saying, but it's just like I just like. You know, I guess it depends on the area too, because I know where your deli is at is, is a lot of like uh, white people and stuff yeah. like that, Italians they're, and they're stuff. They're cool. Yeah. They're cool. You know. No, I'm yeah, not of course. Say. Yeah. This, it was it was really honestly just like a random person that walked in like once or twice that has said something like that. Yeah. Everybody else is always really nice. Community is amazing. Uh, the businesses around are always pretty cool and shit as well. Yeah. But yeah, I guess that's the only thing. I, the only, only time I felt like somebody was like type racist towards mm. towards me or like you know my family and shit. What about you? Yeah, uh, I mean, I feel like I, I've I've gotten it for like literally almost all my life type shit. Yeah. Like there's always been somebody saying, "Oh, fuck you, Mexicans!" All like. Most of my experiences come from black people hating Mexicans and stuff, and I have no reason. I, I honestly don't know why, and I don't think it's it has nothing to do because like I feel like we when we grew up, most of our parents said, "Oh yeah, it's always been beef between Mexicans and black black people and stuff." Like especially in our area, but like some of the people have nothing to do with gangs or anything like that. So I don't think that's the reason why. I honestly don't know why. In our area specifically, black people have something against Mexicans, bro. Yeah, hundred like, percent. It, it's it's really weird to me, bro. Like I've never had no type of hate towards black people. If anything, I f- I feel some type of way what they feel like. I feel out of place next to a bunch of white people. I feel out, like as much as black people feel out of place next to white people, bro. I f- if anything, we should feel each other. You know what I'm saying, yeah. bro? Mm-hmm. I feel like we've gone through as much discrimination as they have. We've got, bro. People conquered our land the same way that they got conquered over, bro. So it's like I feel like we relate in more ways than they actually than what think. We think yeah. yeah, than what we think, bro. Like there's things called as Afro 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 Mexicans, bro. That's a real thing, bro. In Mexico, there's literally a fucking little town that was built up from an Afro Mexican, bro. Literally, mm-hmm. a black a African I had babies with a Mexican. They made Afro Mexican, and then a land was built up from that, bro. Yeah. And we literally fucking um, when it was times during like slavery and shit, right? A lot of uh slaves like would flee to Mexico. And Mexico would would take them in, like would defend them, bro. They would be mm-hmm. like, yo, the obviously like the people from the United States from the South and shit like that would go over there and like say, yo, we want our fucking slaves back, right? Mexicans would be like, bro, there's no there's no slaves here. The only thing that's here is Mexicans. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, which is like it kind of like gets me emotional and shit because it's like I don't understand where all that hate came from, bro. Like I, like I said, bro, I've never hated a black person, bro. Mm. And I don't understand why they have so much hate towards us. Yeah, it, it, it's fucking mind boggling, bro. Like I, I've never been racist towards a black person and shit, and I feel like they just feel the need to to do that shit to us. 
which yeah. is great. It's crazy to me, bro. Yeah, because yeah, when you said that, um, like, uh, <sighs> we get targeted around our area. I remember back in the day, like, hearing, like, a bunch of stories, like, that a, a Mexican would get jumped, like, every other weekend, like, just yeah. uh, on port. It's crazy how that actually was, like, a it thing was a back thing. then. It was so bad up to the point where uh, they started putting more and more police officers in port because it was becoming, like, a like a real thing. Like, people, yeah. were, trend, really getting dr- people were getting jumped. People were getting robbed all the time. Like, you know, like, it, it sucks. But um, who knows, bro? I guess I re- there's really no explanation for it. And then also, like, I know um, my boy, because I have a lot of Egyptian and Arabic and... Yemenis, whatever, a lot of Arabic friends, and they told me that all oh, like one time, my boy Eamon, you know Eamon, mm-hmm. he was in line and stuff, and he was like just chilling and stuff, and obviously his his sister and his mom they have a hijab, and then like a fucking person felt the need to say fucking terrorists, what, what the, the hell? Fuck? next to them, bro, and like Eamon fucking pressed him, he's like, yo, what the fuck did you say? I literally he- heard what the fuck you said, and he tried to say, oh, I didn't say nothing, this and that. It's always like the old motherfuckers, bro, especially, bro, like, have something to say. Bro, I never heard of they that shit They be tweaking, before. bro. They be tweaking. Yeah. That, 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 those are a lot of people. Also, Asians. I feel like Asians are, are another one who, like, they get, like, targeted a lot, bro. Oh, yeah. yeah. There was, like, a thing for a minute, Like, like bro, like, I feel like they get yeah, violated that, that, OD, that, that, bro. Especially, I remember the time. And Indians as well. <laughs> bro, everybody's. It's yeah, it's, everybody. I feel like nobody's safe sometimes. Everybody. I feel like everyone has their own type of. Type shit, right? Yeah, low key. It's it's fucking whack how like that that's a thing though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hundred percent. And, and um, there's also a story about I don't know if you guys know who Jeremy Lin is. No. Nah. Yeah, the he's play basketball, right? Yeah, For yeah, the Asian Knicks. basketball player. He's an Asian basketball okay. player. He was in the NBA, right? Okay, I think I think I've heard you talk about him before. Yeah, yeah. So like basically like his story is like he was an Asian Asian basketball player and shit. And obviously when you look at like a group of basketball players, majority is a certain race. Not to be racist, it's just what it is. And you don't really see as much Asian representation, especially in the NBA. Yeah. As, as, as basically, you don't see no Mexican representation in the NBA as well. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, like, going into that, you don't, you people saw him as like, oh, he's, he's just a little Asian kid. You know what I'm saying? Just a little Asian kid trying to make it. He's not really going to do anything. His whole life, basically, that happened. Yeah. Even when he got to the NBA level. Like, he already got into NBA level and people were still... Doubting him, you know what I'm saying? Is that doubt him, yeah. that you have just because you're like a certain race or whatever, and it's crazy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And then he ended up making it, whatever, Linsanity, whatever. He was pretty good for some time, and then <laughs> whatever. He just he got, fell off. <laughs> he just fell off out of nowhere. Yeah. But but he's that's an inspiration type shit to certain people. A oh, video yeah. Or? oh, yeah. I was going to show you guys oh. a video. All right, so this video. I don't know if you guys can see. I'll hold it. I seen this video. Oh, you seen this shit? <laughs> seen this. Oh, I found pictures of them in bed together. <sighs> Did she talk about her ex? Uh, no, not at all. Actually, did you love her? What'd she say? Why do you keep all those photos of your ex? A lot of them are just good memories that I really what just the- don't. Why? <laughs> Why do you care? Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> nah, bro. Get the fuck away from me after that shit. Bro, nah, 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 that's, nah, that's just disrespectful, bro. Imagine having your part, like, imagine going through your, 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 uh, partner's phone and that you actually, like, you, like, accidentally, I guess, and then you just see fucking pictures of her and her ex that um, apparently then, never, then, like, mattered. Uh, you and seen that meme that's like Akira? I, yeah, no yeah, 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 bro. Yeah, oh, gee, bro. that's how Leave I feel. Leave me alone. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I, I, bro, I'll be, be eating so f- out of nowhere just thinking about it. Uh, yeah, those pigs. Know, nah, that's man, fucked no up, bro. <laughs> Yo, so, nah. I get fucking triggered. I'm not gonna lie. Nah, yo. That's down bad, bro. That's. Nah, no, nah, no. Nah, hold on, hold on. Who's the problem though in that in that video? Both or just one or the other? Who's uh, who's the problem? I feel like they're both a problem. Yes. I feel like her because she's holding on to something that isn't there and, and, and like she's disrespecting her yeah, partner yeah. while doing so. And him because 
uh, he doesn't know his worth and he's yeah, not like, you don't know his worth. Like, some, I would if I were to see something like that, I'd be like, yo, either you get that shit off your phone, or like I'm leaving, or like we gonna have some problems. Like, I'm, yeah, like our relationship is gonna have some problems. Like, maybe maybe he didn't do it in like in that moment, but maybe mm. after they left, like once they got home, yeah. it's like, ah, right, me las pagas, like yeah. Delete all of that shit. Like, I don't fuck with that shit, you know? Because sometimes it's better to just keep it, like, you know, just... As soon as you enter a new relationship, bro, you're supposed to let go of your old relationship. Don't fucking hold on to the past, bro. If you're holding on to the past, bro, you're clearly not ready for another relationship, bro. Nah, that's true. That's, that's just how it is, bro. That's just how it is. That's, how it that's be. tough, though, bro. Watching that the first time I, I seen that shit, I was like... Huh? Yeah. They're in bed, like, and she says, "Oh, like these are memories that I'm not ready to the let go." Fuck! And then she says, why do you care? I don't... And then like, <laughs> like the what the fuck? Like, you're like, you're my like, girlfriend. What the fuck? Fucking me? Why do I care, bitch? We sleep together. Like, what the fuck? Like, you, you, you get to look back at these pictures. You obviously have, you know, thoughts about this. Like, if you really this. think about it, bro, like she probably goes home, or like, I'm, I'm guessing they don't live together, but on her private, on her, on her alone time, she probably. Like looks at those Scrolls pictures, through those pictures, and smiles or some shit. Oh puts my it to her, God. puts the phone to the heart. Oh, that oh type of shit. Oh my God! You see bro. what I mean? That's down bad, bro. I can't. I can't no, why are the ones in bed too? That's what that's, I'm saying. That's even like, worse. That's even worse. If she has it on her camera, bro, like not even hidden away. Like, not even hidden, bro. And not even out. in like the the fake calculator shit, bro. Like <laughs> the fake. What the fuck is that? <laughs> not even on. Uh, you guys don't know called? about the fake calculator shit? Nah. Oh, I don't know what the fuck are you talking about? That's like uh, in, in like middle school, like um. But Are you talking about like, the fake ass you could like like disguise or some shit? Yeah, yeah. So like in middle school, my friends told me like when we were, when I was first getting introduced to porn and shit like that, oh my God. if you didn't want your parents finding like porn or whatever on your phone or anything like that, like they would have like these apps that would be disguised as like different shit, photo galleries or some oh, shit. Oh, okay. I didn't have that shit. I used to have like on my on my Android. There was like an app where you could like basically uh. Have a password to, yeah, to open it? It's basically that, yeah. Oh, that has, oh yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, but shit. but anyways, that's besides the point. Like what fucking hit me is like what you is like why do you care? Yeah. And the good memories, bro, like nah bro, that's that's I don't I honestly I think I would have broken up with my uh significant hey, other. Bro. Yeah. I wouldn't blame you for that cause like, I, OD. I, Cause like nah bro, like I feel like that's way too far, bro. Like like obviously maybe not deleted messages like is like I guess you didn't really go back to that. I don't. No, no, no. What do you mean? Nah, that's equally as bad. Like <laughs> that, that, everything is bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> George, you call me out, guys. We're gonna have to call out George this episode, bro. You gonna call me out? Cause, cause uh, he usually violates me when uh, I don't have nothing to talk about. So can can you guys please call him out this episode? <laughs> right down in the comments, bro. I just had, no, I just <laughs> have no, 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 no fucking regular topics. I have, bro. Last last fuck, I had a bunch of regular topics that came from me. Like I said, like I said, he be, call, he be calling me out. He be calling me out. Oh so please, gosh. we have to call him out this episode, bro. Like nah, he's, he's getting like, triggered. He's getting triggered. I know he is. No, nah, he's not. Not. I mean, nothing to call out because I know all my scary shit is valid. Like I have a bunch of scary shit. I got some stuff I want to talk about too. Uh, please, guys, let's call him out, bro. Because he's always <laughs> shitting on me and stuff. You guys have seen it. So come on. No, it's not calling me out, bro. I literally, I, I've, the whole fucking time we started this shit, I've always came with fucking regular topics. On to the next video. Now I want you guys to see this, right? Give me And you just. You was mad close to me. You got beef with me. Step outside. If you got first. beef with me, let's step outside. Can you step outside first? If you can't step out first, I can go out. You want to step outside? You want to step outside? Yeah. You want to step outside? Yeah. You want to step outside? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, like, literally, I'm respect. Don't stand over me like that. I'm telling you, don't do that. Okay, don't tell me your age. Okay, tell me your age. Don't worry about how old I am. I will play. What? Don't worry about how old you will find out. You don't want to see it over here. Don't break the fucking thing. Oh, shit. 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 That's some fucking New York shit. I'm not gonna lie. That is the man New York, bro. bro. Like a lot of a lot of fucked up shit happens like that. Like, bro, people uh, people be disrespecting the fucking the wheelchair the, the wheelchair people. <laughs> the bus. 
Bro, it's, it's literally New York shit. Like I, I've seen a, I've seen that shit happen before too. That us? Yeah. Like like an older person getting tight at a like a innocent fucking uh, high schooler or like middle schooler. I get triggered when that happens, bro. Yeah, it sucks, bro. I, I get like a like a fucking spider tingle or something, bro. Yeah. Like like I get triggered. Like it's like I want to say something. I feel like I have said something before, but like it hasn't really happened like any time recently. Mm-hmm. Like I, I'm pretty sure. I've been pussy for most of my life and shit. So, like when that, <laughs> for when, most of my life. <laughs> so when that when that has happened, bro, I feel like I, I wouldn't have said nothing. But like, I feel like now I'm even more pussy because of Julia. So yeah. I pre- I'm pretty sure I wouldn't say nothing. You just you just can't underestimate anybody, bro. Like I, I've also like thought about it too. Like honestly, when it comes to those, those situations, I have a lot to lose. So there's no point in trying to fight fire with fire. So yeah, sometimes it's just better to just walk let, away. Let, let Cause it go. you're bro. Nine out of ten times, you're never gonna see the, those people again. Not even yet. if, even if you do, it's not gonna be the same thing. Like, they're not gonna be on the same energy, especially if they're by themselves. They'll probably just be quiet and just yeah. like put their head down, you know, something like that. Did you guys see that? Um, I would have my a, business. I'm not gonna lie. I think like a 13 year old boy on Staten Island who got shot. What, what the fuck? There was there was a 13 year old boy who got shot and killed, bro. For but what? I think uh, today my friend told me the guy who killed him got caught was a 16 year old boy, bro. Who shot shoot? and killed the thirteen year old? Why did he shoot? Probably, him? probably, I don't really don't know. Gang shit. Probably gangs, honestly. Like that's, gangs are pretty still much alive. I just don't Not see yet. it as much as I did before, but they're still there. Like people still, you know, people still rep certain gangs and stuff. So I think that's what it was. I could be wrong, but crazy. Or did you guys hear about that kid who um was on top of the train by like T Ville? Mm-hmm. I seen that one. Yeah, there was, was a kid, that? bro, who was on top of the train. At, you know how there's like a Staten Island train. Yeah. So he was standing on top of it, and a, uh, apparently, um, I think they, they passed by, like, an overpass. Like, the train went under an overpass. Okay. And the kid on top was, he was on top of the fucking train, and supposedly, like, the fucking thing decapitated his fucking head, bro. What? Wait, when was this? This was, like, a week ago, a yeah, week and a half recently. ago, bro. The video is, the video is on Instagram, bro. bro. The ad of him getting, no way. No, no the, not, the, not the, of him getting the, I was about to like, say. Like, kill on top of the train, blood on the train and everything, bro. It was the real brain shit. and everything on the train, bro. Yeah, brain and Wait, everything. Wait, but why, why did he decide to go on top of the train? Hey, bro. Questions that we don't know the answers to. People just decide to just do was, what they was want. Was he with friends and stuff? Who knows, bro? I, I don't really know. I only know because that same day, um, well, people come to my store. An EMT guy walks in and I asked him, like, oh, so what's up? Like, how's your day been? Like, you know, just regular questions, like regular conversation. And then he was start. He started talking about it about the fact that some fifteen year old kid had just uh, basically lost his head, like on top of this, like the train on Staten Island, like, and they had to. Res- he had to respond to the fucking call, and he was like, "You should have seen it, bro. Like, train was covered in blood, like on top. Everything was just." Imagine like, being the passenger, just just mind seeing, your business, and yeah. you see that shit. And uh, waiting like the next stop. He's like, I don't, I can't believe it. He's like, you would think that because of the force and the speed of the train, that the body would like kind of fly. He said that the body stayed on top of the train, like everything was there, like yeah, and it was just crazy, yeah. Fuck. Staten Island, bro. Crazy. They be, he, he said that as of late, Staten Island has low key, low key been like busy, like like just been a lot of things happening on Staten Island, like bad things, like stuff like well, obviously he's the EMT, so yeah, things that need like an ambulance, stuff like that, like just bad stuff has has been happening. But look, I, I want to show you guys this video. The woman seen in this viral video, assaulted and berated by this general contractor, says the incident all began because of scratches on a countertop. This man now under police investigation and out that contracting job. Leave. Insults and profanity. Get the out of that building right now. Coming <gasps> from a man supposed to be the leader at a job site in North Phoenix Tuesday. You can say that to- 46-year-old Brent Hospelhorn accusing a female employee of scratching a countertop at this condo complex under construction near Tatum Boulevard and Deer Valley Road. I didn't know that. Because she was leaned up against it when I walked in here. Don't you ever f- touch with my ass. Do you understand me? The general contractor of BPH Construction also berating other employees. Que no lo puedo asimilar todavía. Y... Guadalupe Solano, a wife and mother of three, an electrician of seven years, still in shock. Wow, bro, I would have stopped the shit out of him, bro. If I saw that, yeah. that was my mom, I would have fucked him up. Bro, that's crazy, bro, that's fucked up. And I, I, and I think uh, he wasn't even, uh, 
He was only detained. And he, he was only given a citation and they let him go. It's crazy how he go. The justice system is fucked up, What's man. That, you know, that's, my mom's been saying that recently, like, because uh, ever since the whole, like, hit and run that happened to us. Mm -hmm. did, I, did I tell you about what happened or no? Where someone hit you in his car? Yeah, this, uh, the, the blue car right here. Yo, this. I was going to say... So, do you guys remember that time I spoke about the, the incident that happened to me at a car wash? Did I speak about that on the podcast? Car wash, no. Car wash, the fuck? No, did I tell you guys that I got, that some bitch tried to cut me at the car wash and I, like, fucking... Cut you? Try to cut... Not cut me. Oh, like, try like to cut, cut line? my line. Like, no, try to no, cut no, it no, in the end and tell you guys? No, no, no. Uh, oh, my God. Quick story, then. So, a couple months ago, I was online for the for a car wash, obviously. And no matter de repente, a fucking car just decides to try to cut me. Yeah. Like, just literally parks right in front of me and just try to go in front of me. I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? So there I am, like a douchebag, like, pressing on the gas, like, not letting them in. Up to the point where I literally hit the fucking car. Like, I hit their car, like, but, like, it was like a kiss, like a smooch, like, on the on the car. Mm -hmm. And the fucking, the, they fucking put their window down and put my window down. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is your problem? Like, why the fuck are you trying to cut the line and shit? It was like some bitch driving, like, some girl. She was like, yo, what the fuck is your problem? Like, you just, like, you just hit my shit. I need your fucking license. Um, before that, we were already speaking, actually. I just remember that, like, um, I had put my window down, and I was like, yo, what the fuck are y'all doing? Like, I'm already online. Like, why y'all trying to cut me? Like, there's a fucking line behind me. Like, don't be stupid. Yeah. And um, it was, like, a girl, a guy, and a, and a little girl in the back, like, back seat. So that whole situation happened. Then, then I accidentally hit, then I, then I hit the car and shit. And then the bitch started going crazy and shit. And then the guy who was working at the car wash, like, came up came up to me and was like, yo, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, bro, I'm good. This bitch just tried to cut me and shit, like, and I wasn't about to let that shit rock. Like, that's the only reason why, like, yeah. I ended up hitting it a little bit. Point is, I th uh, that same night that that happened to you guys, May showed me a picture of the girl who did it. And I'm like... 50% sure that it was like the same person? girl the same girl bro I'm could be wrong but I just remember seeing the girl that day and she was she had like these like birthmarks on her face I don't know if she was like and she was white skinned but she looked Hispanic at the same time and the girl that that, that May showed me was basically the same like and I was like she showed me the picture bro first thing that came to my mind was that same girl what kind of car was it it was a white Honda uh, I don't think it was the it's same car. It's probably the same car. girl, but like... The, I mean, it's different the, car. Because the guy was the, the dad, no? Yeah. It was definitely the same girl, but just the whole different driver. But I don't I don't know what happened, really. What happened? Oh, so what happened was is that uh, the car was parked and like... um, It was just parked. And then uh, out of nowhere, like you could see it on the camera. I have the whole video. You want to see the video? Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, sure. it's fucking bad. Is that on post app? Yeah, it's on post app and shit. What the fuck? But yeah, so that happened and stuff, and then they ended up grabbing all their shit, and then they just dipped. But like the cops, like they didn't, they didn't show up. The cops didn't show up for mad long and stuff, and then they finally like got our information and stuff. They, and then it, we're still dealing with the whole insurance stuff because we don't know what's gonna happen. Who's gonna pay for that? Is the insurance gonna pay? Like, but we're stupid too because we didn't ask f the time. The time we were chilling there, we should have asked for their information. But we wanted to wait for the cops to to see, like, what's the right way? What, we, what should we exactly should we ask for to get all our shit so mm -hmm. this could be covered? And then they just ended up dipping. And my mom was saying, like, yo, like, low-key, like, now this justice system is fucked up. Like, it's, like, low-key time for people to start getting justice on their own. Because, like, I mean. Yeah, it's true, What the fuck bro. is happening? You know what I'm saying, yeah. bro? Like, if nothing is going to get done, like, low-key, we should start doing shit on our own type shit, right? Mm-hmm. But, I mean, it's whatever. Yeah, bro, because, like, like you said, like, they just did what they did and they just fucking left. Like, and they're going to get away with it, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, that's 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 crazy to me and stuff. Like, that's that's yeah. crazy to me. I don't know if it was. Maybe I just, like, confused it with somebody else. But they just, she did as look like the same bitch. That's, but that's fuck crazy. that hoe, bro. She's stupid. All right, guys, enough for the segment that you guys all love. Testing our Spanish. We we know y'all think we're no Sao kids or whatever. I mean, well, you 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 guys already fucking know that I'm a fucking you know Sao, uh, no no kid. Whatever. I I've accepted it at this point. Y'all violate me, so it's okay. I don't care. Whatever. I'm a semi no Sao. Some of the words are kind of difficult, but for the most part, I be getting them. Bro, we we for the past like for the past episode, you've been uh beating me in this shit. So no, you're not no no Sao kid. ¿Cómo se dice deaf? Deaf. Deaf. Oh, deaf? Ciego? No, 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 not ciego. Um, 
Diego's blind. Uh, that's, <laughs> uh, uh, oh, shit. Fuck. I thought I, I thought I thought I had that shit too. Um, I wasn't. Oh, fuck, bro. Oh, sordo. Yes, 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 yes. Because yes. I, I was, I was thinking about when my mom be like yelling at me and like, yo, you don't hear him. Like, that's sordo. Yeah, so okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Good shit, good shit. Okay, okay. You gonna get this one? How do you say wrist? Wrist. Yeah. Uh, muñeca. Yeah. All right. ¿Cómo se dice cooking? Cocinando. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the fuck, you're actually on a roll today, bro. I mean, it's been like that for like. A couple episodes too, but whatever. Uh, como se dice winter? Uh, invierno. Yeah. Invierno. But I'm not gonna lie, the fucking the the what you call the seasons are hard as fuck for me. That us? Yeah, because I know it's invierno, then I know there's see, then I then I get like fucked up. Primavera. Primavera. Verano. And uh, what's fall? <laughs> Yo, how do you say fall in Spanish? Otoño. Ot oh yeah, otoño. So all right, it's so, autumn. So I'm guessing primavera is spring. Yeah. And verano is summer? Yeah, yeah. All right. Un verano sin ti. All right. ¿Cómo se dice hammer? Martillo. Yeah. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice mushroom? Um, hongos? No, no, no. no. Um, That's fungus. I know this word too, bro. Mushrooms. Is there with like a C? Like, is there a CH in I, there? Wait. No, I can't give you. I can't give you fucking hints, cause, cause you, you you know more Spanish than me. I wouldn't have to be able to got this. Nah, I have to get it, bro. I feel like I know this shit. Just take a guess, bro, cause I feel like you're you're on the right ballpark, I guess. There's, I know there's a ch in there. Yeah, I know there is. I just forgot how to fucking say it, bro. Um, I right, just tell me. Uh, if I say it wrong, you'll be able to say it better. But I think it's I think it's, uh, champignon. Champignones, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Fucking hell, bro! I knew it. Yeah. Okay, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me an extra one, bro, because you give me one I already knew. All right, brother. If you if you don't get the shit, then I get the cinturón. Ah. <laughs> All right, brother. Wait, I wonder. Let's let's open it up. Well, hold on. Oh, the oh the the booster pack. Since it is the last um time you guys are gonna be seeing the segment, we we do want to uh keep doing it, but. It's only a limited amount of time, huh? Not that I But this is going to be the last time you guys are going to see this segment. It was fun doing it. So, might as well open the fucking booster pack. Yo, these look cool as fuck. Oh, wait. What? What, what, what? Sana, sana, colita de rana. So, this is like fucking medical related, bro. Oh, fuck. I'm going to do terrible. Oh, that's cool as fuck, bro. So, como se dice gurney? Gurney? Yeah. Like, like, like the shit that you push, people, uh, like when people get hurt, they take out the gurney. Oh shit, uh, plancha? No, no, but that, that's a that's an iron. No, I thought it was like like the fucking. Uh, anyways, anyways, no, no, no. <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> um, I don't know. You guys don't know. I, that, I don't know that. Let's take another guess. Uh, gurney. Gurney. Fucking. It's kind of like a bed. With a look. It's kind of, yeah. Cama de hospital? No. Cama de los muertos? <laughs> I don't know. No, it's camilla. Ca oh my gosh, bro. These yeah. words are actually pretty hard, bro. Fuck. All right, como se dice bladder? Bladder? That's fucking hard, bro. Bro, I'm not going to lie. I don't expect you to get that yeah, one. Yeah. I don't uh, expect you to get any of these, bro, to be honest. Bro, this is, oh my but gosh. You, but but this, just, just guess, bro. Bladder? I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to sound stupid in the ones that you're going to ask me. Uh, fuck, bro. All right, what does it start with? A V. Fuck. I don't think you're going to get it, bro. I don't know, nah, bro. Just I, say I, random I, shit. Just say something random. Verano. <laughs> Verano. <laughs> Vejiga. Be, nah, yeah, nah. I was not going to get that, bro. Uh, Como se dice heart rate? Heart rate? Um, I feel like you could, you could get this one, bro. Uh, latido? No. Uh, I don't know. You sure? Uh, I feel like, I feel like you know it, bro. Pulso, pulso. No. It's not? No. What is it? Uh, ritmo cardia cardiaco. Oh my gosh, I'm stupid, bro. I could have gotten that, bro. All right, how do you say blood clot? Blood clot. <laughs> blood clot. <laughs> uh, blood clot? Yeah, blood clot, yeah. Oh, you're not going to get this either, bro. Bombo clot. 
coagulo de sangre. What the fuck? I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna take this home and I'm, I'm actually gonna practice and learn fucking words so I, so I don't have to be in El Salvador, bro. I'm low not gonna that, lie. Loki, that is a smart idea. Yeah. I'm telling you, bro. I feel like this shit teaches you. All right. Uh, whoa. I don't know. I even know how to fucking pronounce this. Uh, Today I'm Loki brain dead, bro. So I'm like, not. I'm probably not gonna get it. Como se dice Juan Diz? John Diz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, John this. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, come yeah, see yeah. this John this. Uh I know this shit too, bro. It starts with the eye. That's like when your eyes turn yellow. Oh, that's what it is? Yeah. Or like you turn yellow too. I forgot you went to to MedTech. Uh Juan, Juan Diego. I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> uh Istericia? Ictericia? Ictericia. I never heard that word in my I never heard that either. Como se dice first aid? First aid? First aid. Like a first aid kit, fuck. I don't think you're going to get that either. I feel like you're. Bro, is, it, is it two words? Yes, it is, yeah. Uh, what, what, all right, what does the first word start with? P, and then the second word starts with the A. I was about to say something me- medical. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, uh, I doubt I would have gotten this. Too. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna get this, bro. Uh, primeros auxil- auxilios. Como se dice painkiller? Painkiller? Yeah. Uh, how do you say that? Medicina para el dolor? I don't know. <laughs> no. Tylenol? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. I'm probably gonna, I'm, I'm probably gonna say, this say, one say, too. Say, say. Anal, anal, analgesico, analgesico, yeah. some shit like that. Yeah, I'm stupid. Como se dice common cold, like the common cold. Gripa? No, no, it's not gripa. Oh, it's not gripa. Common cold. Yeah. Like the actual like medical term for for common nah, cold. No, 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 or? They 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 say that oh medio un. It starts with the R. Fog. I feel like you know this, bro. That's with the R? Yeah. Is yeah. it a long or a short word? It's a short word. Medio. Medio. Yeah, yeah. You go. Medio. It's R. So it's R O. It's no. It's re. Oh. R E. You get. You give up. Yeah. Resfriado. Oh fuck yeah. Bro, oh, these these were actually like nah yeah. These are good, bro. I I barely knew any of these. To bro, be shout out to fucking Yo Sabo. Make sure you guys go buy. Make sure that we. S- that you tell them that we send y'all their way. Fucking love this game. And like I said, I'm definitely gonna use these shit to practice my Spanish and not become a Yosawa kid. Probably like levels to this shit. Yeah. We low key got the hard one. <laughs> yeah. Cause that shit was fucking hard, bro. Well, yeah. Shout out to Yosabo the game. The link will be in uh, the, li- the link will be in our description and our, in, the, in our link tree. So make sure you go buy. And yeah, we love ya. You want to get into his. Uh, I was now, say, or get into the scary stuff. Yeah, yeah, we could get into the All scary right, so stuff. So you can start off with your. Spooky. Actually, hold up, let me. Because uh, I actually have a, a quite a good of topics. I have a lot too, bro. So we're probably be talking about like about this shit for like a good while, like an hour and a half. Oh, okay. Okay. That's the key. All right, so uh, so now since we're gonna get into scary shit, Greg, I know you wanna you have like something scary that happened recently that you said fucked you up. So I mean, let, let, tell us about it. Let's see. All right, so all right, so hear this, boys. So. I'm going to need you guys to really be open-minded about it and maybe be a little... How can I say it? Like, about it? Yeah, like, in a way. Like, it was it was pretty weird, the, the way everything happened that, that night. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Excuse Sorry, me, excuse me. My girl actually moved up to a new spot. Okay. The, um, to, to the third floor of her crib that um, they renovated and shit after their, uh, her house caught fire or whatever. <laughs> so it's all new and shit, right? So she moved up there now. So there was this one day that I was there. I was sleeping at her crib. And um, I woke up. Truth be told, I didn't look at the time, bro. I honestly have no idea what the time was when I woke up. I woke up. The first thing I did was I think I started, uh, like, you know, you wake up in the middle of the night. Your girlfriend's right there. I started being annoying, you know, like playing around, like just yeah. like bothering her and shit. And eventually, I'm like, oh, I, I'll i be back. I'm going to go to the bathroom really quick. She's like, okay. So I go. 
again, I don't know. I don't really know the time. This really all happened in a matter of like a minute or two, though. Like woke up, started fucking with her and said, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm go to the bathroom. Right. Uh, I remember it being like just dark, like just uh, it was just night. It was just nighttime. So yeah. go to the bathroom, came back up, got back in bed. She was like type of awake at that time. So then we started like uh, cuddling, you know, just regular shit. You know, it's mm-hmm. nighttime, like, you know, you're with your girl. So, you know, <laughs> just doing doing our thing or mm-hmm. whatever. Right. Yeah. So uh, there was a point where I'm laying down on the bed. She's on top of me and we're facing kind of the wall. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, we're not looking this way. We're only looking this way. Like, okay. Both of our heads are, are one way. Okay. And then, swear to God, bro, just in one second, like... She goes, Gregory, I think there's somebody there. And then, like, we just stop. I get her off of me. And I look at where, like, the entrance of the room is. And she only, we only have a, she only has a curtain there. So, I shit you not, the curtain was open. Was like, was open, bro. Like, if somebody was holding it open, just like that, straight up. Just like, like, I'm not saying a little bit. I'm talking about the whole shit was open. And, you know, she said Gregory someone's there. It's dark as shit in the room. So what I do, I I, I look and I swear to you, like I'm trying to like so I don't know if it's my is? head, if it's my head or if it's like, you know, because she said it's somebody there, I'm trying to make like a person appear there. If that makes any sense. Like I'm trying to, trying to visualize really focus like, yeah. to see if someone is really there. Pitch black, bro. I don't see anything, but the fucking curtain is up, bro. Yeah. We just stood there, me and her, and basically we. I I stood it. I just stood there looking, and we waited like a couple of seconds, bro. I was thinking it was gonna fall or something, and it didn't. But we're just. It was like a. I'm not saying like I was there for like ten minutes looking at that shit, but I was there for like a good minute. We just like, you know, after what you're doing, and then just catching you off guard, like just the way she said it, like, just like. Fucking just it just shot, it just yeah. put me in shock for one second. So we just both just stared at it. Um, like I said, trying to picture somebody being there, and eventually someone has to get up. So it has to be me. She wasn't gonna get up and check. So I finally fucking a couple seconds later, fucking get up. I walk towards it, and I just like. I'm looking at the fucking thing just wide open, bro. Did you like try to feel if something was there or not? I didn't. Just, no? I just nah. grab it and it just I just closed it. And then um went back to bed. I don't even remember what happened. I don't know if we ended up like continuing what we were doing or kind of just turned into like just cuddling and ended up going back to sleep. Yeah. It wasn't until the next day where like, we didn't speak about what happened. Everything was like, we didn't even pay attention to it. I went to the bathroom. I go back upstairs, and then, like, for some reason, it just popped up in my head. I'm like, wait. How the fuck was the fucking... The the fucking... Curtain the up. curtain up like that. Because, bro, te lo juro, like, I swear, it looked like someone was holding it. It looked like... And someone was there, and there's no way where that that the fucking curtain could like be attached to something like a. No, it like, has hooks on it. It has like a has like so it's like a it's like a it's like a roof. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you know how a roof is slanted. Yeah. So it has hooks on the top. Okay. But then, obviously, it can't go all the way to the wall. If that makes any sense, like it has to stop at one point. Uh-huh. So it's like hook, 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 and then the curtain is just there, and then the rest, the whole thing is covered. No. Yeah. So. The curtain was just being held like that. It just like, just the way it looked, bro. It really just looked like someone was there holding it. Like, like I'm imagining it, but I'm yo, just. Yo, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Here, hold this. I was literally Guys. looking at it. Yo. So it was like, so it it literally looked just like that. Okay, bro. but okay, okay, but what I was saying is like, so there's nothing here that could possibly no, hold the curtain. No, bro. That's what I'm. That's what I was about to get at. So the the day that I so the next day when I come back from the bathroom, yeah, I go to the room and, you try and to I do start it. fucking around. I start I start moving the moving the curtain, trying to get it stuck because we have a we have a um like a rack, but it's not a high rack. It's just there like a rack. So I'm trying to I'm trying to move the curtain up to the to the rack, try to get it stuck on it. I'm trying to move it out to the hooks, 
it had like a little thing i was trying to like move it try to connect it somehow just to to, re- to recreate recreate it. what yeah. i saw that day yeah. nothing was holding up bro nothing and i'm just there like bro how is it possible that the fucking curtain just stood up so perfect like that for a minute bro it wasn't like two seconds because because you guys were granted, staring at it for a long granted, time yeah. granted i went to the bathroom and i came back bro i was half asleep yeah. i did not fucking open that shit up completely like that, that. Yeah. i just opened it a little bit went inside how the fuck was it like that yeah and i just i and then me spoke about it and i'm like um and then that's when we started talking about it like wait isn't it weird how the whole situation she's like what time was it i'm like yo i didn't even look at the time like just like as something like, was watching you guys yeah like she said oh like craig somebody's there bro like, when you when you said that i thought like some like my dumbass i thought i thought you saw about, like a window that someone yeah, was peeking was through outside, like being yeah. a pervert no bro because it's the third floor it wouldn't happen but then it, then it oh, no, my what, head, yeah. what, I, what i thought is that somebody was like outside like like coming towards the house or something like that like, okay that's, i see that's what, what you mean that's yeah, what yeah. i thought but like you, you, the, you like the whole other thing yeah, like, it's yeah. it's in the room like i said i was the last one to walk in right i went to the bathroom i did not open the curtain that much and i know it wasn't like a family member because i mean you would say something if like mm-hmm. you fucking open the curtain and yeah. we end up looking at you probably like go oh, yeah, shut sure. up or yeah. just something and I walked up to it, and there was nobody there. I literally walked Wait, up to them. When you walked up to it, it was still being held up. Yes, like that? bro, it was and when still. You put it like, like, did you did you like? All right. I don't even. Look, 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 I look. don't. So yeah. go like this. So did so, you like? So I walked up, right? Yeah. And then it was. It's like the opposite way. So this would be on this side, but it's it's a good it's a good way to. I just I just remember going like this, and it just fell, just like that. I didn't even do too much. I just tapped it, just closed, just like that. Just like that, bro. And my girl was right there. We, bro, she, we, we saw it together, bro. We saw it together. Like we obviously, we saw it. We like, we both got scared. Like, on oh, my shoulder. That had to be one of the weirdest things that has ever happened to me, bro. Like I'm trying so, to fucking think of a fucking explanation, right? Yeah, but I can't because you basically you you said you re- tried, tried to recreate bro, it, but I really did. I uh, swear on everything. I fucking stood there for like three minutes just trying to hold on the curtain. Um, there's obviously jackets on the rack, so I try to get the curtain stuck on a jacket. It still wouldn't be enough, bro. Yeah. And it doesn't make sense at the fact that is the curtain it heavy? Was, it, it it's type or, heavy. Yes, it's like it's a it's a it's a it's not like a little curtain like this. It's a, it's a heavy curtain. That, okay, that, that's even that's more. Even that's, crazy. But that's the yeah. fact that it was so perfectly balanced, like so perfectly held, like it just like. It was scary. You should uh, you should tell her to do like um, you know how people do background checks on the houses, like to see like the history on it. That that house has been the grandparents' crib for a minute. Like, so you for, should you should you should do some. You guys should well if you guys want, because I know like doing that sometimes can scare people. But if you no funny shit though, the only other time that I felt something weird in that crib was actually not that not that long before we moved up, like before she moved up there. Really? So we were before she used to live in the basement. So we were there laying down one night, right? <sighs> Watching, watching a movie, mm-hmm. and I don't know. I started hearing people talking, like it, a guy, like speaking. But it wasn't no family members. No, it was just in the house. It's just her, her sister, and her dad. Uh huh. So and I was there, obviously. So it was me and her, her sister, and her dad. But I think her sister wasn't wasn't even there. So we're there, we're we're there laying down in bed, and then we heard people talking. And I look at her, and I'm like, "Did you hear that?" She's like, "No." I'm like, "I just heard people talking." I'm like, I don't know, maybe I'm tripping. I look at the window, it was open. So what I do, I close the window, right? And uh, we're just there laying down. Shit you not, like 20 minutes later, maybe. Clear as day, bro. We both, not just me, we both heard a lady say, hey, just like that, just, just hey. And then I look at her and I'm like, did you just hear that? And she's like, yeah. And then I'm like, and then I'm like, fuck, did I lock the door? Because, like, if someone's, like, saying hello, I'm thinking, like, someone is, like, coming in. Or I, I don't know. That's just, like, the first thought yeah. that I had. Like, maybe I didn't close the door. I'm like, shit, did I even lock the door? And uh, I'm telling her, like, shit, like, I'm kind of scared. Like, I don't want to go. But yeah. at the same time, she's not going to go. And her dad's asleep. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. I put my chanclas on. I start walking towards, like... The, um, the other side of the house locked yeah. window w- cl- all windows closed nothing open 
And then I'm like, what the fuck? Like, Look at that. we both heard that shit. Clear yeah. as day. We heard someone say, hey, like, just like that. Like, just right, uh, just randomly, bro. Not going to lie. You're going to have to. Like, That's what I'm saying. But check. we 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 um we spoke about it with people. And sh- we ended up getting, like, holy water and rosarios and shit. Like, because it was just. Uh, that was too too strong of a coincidence to nah, happen, that's, bro. That's scary as fuck, bro. It was, bro. It was definitely scary. And then just um, us really like taking a moment of realization and really speaking about it. And I'm asking her like, D- what do you remember? And she told me a completely different story where what, she was like, what she, say? she was like, oh, we were just watching TV and we started doing things and that's when we saw what we saw, right? I'm like, no. I'm like, bro, we were sleeping. Do you don't remember that? You don't remember that we were asleep? Like, we were knocked out. And I just woke up randomly, went to the bathroom, came back, we started doing stuff, and then that's when the whole situation happened. That I'm like, bro, that's how it happened. I know that's how it happened. Wait, I'm not, wait how the fuck did she see behind her? Unless, she, unless she got the sixth sense, because you know how sometimes when, when you feel somebody feel behind you, at you or staring at you, you have that feeling? Yeah, so yeah, she yeah. probably felt that, and like, so for some reason decided to look back, and then she saw the, the fucking curtain. Yeah. yeah, bro. Fuck, bro, I don't know. I- you know what's what's funny? Like, uh, I'm trying to, like, uh, maybe maybe it's, there's something that has to do with that. Because, I mean, a lot of weird things happen to me and Abby, especially, like, like when we were about to, like, do something. Do intimate intimate, intimate stuff. stuff. Yeah, yeah do, so, she's, like, she's I've told yeah. them on the podcast and stuff. I also, like, the same thing. Weird enough, bro. It sounds like the same story, bro. I, I, when he said when he said that, that's crazy, shit, right? I thought about what you, what that's you told, crazy. told me before. Same yeah. story, bro. We were inside in her her old her dad's car and we were in a parking lot but we were in the side where obviously it's dark and stuff doing like shit mm-hmm. and then like we were we had um finished doing what we were doing and then we were in the front seats we we're about to dip and out of nowhere we hear a hey behind us but keep in mind bro behind us is woods and fences like it's a big ass fence like a fence and then woods so how the f- where yeah, the fuck like- behind us is a hey coming from bro Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like it's, but it's it's weird how it's always like when something doing something s- like that, like intimate, sexual, whatever is happening, bro. Mm-hmm. Like why, like why, and then mm-hmm. it's also a weird, like incident where um not incident, like, why the fuck am I saying incident? Paranormal like thing where like we were like cuddling and making out and stuff, and then we hear my name being moaned on the radio. On the radio, Th- that's weird, right? What the hell? What do you mean? It was like a fucking... Like, it was a random ass ad, a Colgate, like, fucking ad or gum, Trident gum or whatever, something like that. But it moaned my name, like, Ricardo, yeah, like, shit like that. But, like, why is that happening when we were making out? That's fucking crazy, bro. So it's like, but what? I feel like demons or some shit or, like, something, like, maybe feeds off, like, the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like maybe like the sexual kind of energy or something, yeah. like, yeah. like yeah. the lust, yeah, maybe, cause especially if you want to get religious or some shit, we're yeah. we're kind of like doing stuff we're not supposed to in a way, yeah, 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 because we're not married, yeah. we're there's not a, married. There's a demon for that, no? Yeah, yeah. exactly. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah, maybe that's that's has something to do with it and shit, mm-hmm. like. Fuck, yeah, you know bro. What I'm saying, bro. It was know. fucking creepy though. I swear, guys, like just. Trust and, me, I believe you, bro. And, I believe and, you, and I swear to you, because I taught I I told myself to really look. And to really try to picture someone being there, I really swore I saw something. That's why I'm not saying I saw something because I really did tell myself to like, to like look hard. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, what is that? I mean, what would you have done in that situation? I feel like the first, like my first instincts. Every time, every time something paranormal happens in in like anywhere around you, bro. My first instinct is to turn on the light. That's just yeah, I was I'll, going to do I'll, that. That's, that's like my very very first like I don't know survival mode. So I think the first thing I would have done was grab my phone, phone and turn, and turn on, on the flashlight. Flash yeah, that's what I would have done too. Mm-hmm. Cause like, bro, I have to see what the Oof, fuck I'm looking. Like, getting goosebumps, like, bro. like, just imagine you did, and then like, once you turn it on, it fucking like, like just it fell, drops, bro. bro. Oh my, just thinking about it, like, oh I got, yo, look at my skin, bro. I have goosebumps all over. Oh my arms, gosh, bro. bro. Crazy. Well, I'll be speaking about like darkness and shit like that. Well, my topic is um, 
revolved around like catacombs, the Paris catacombs. Oh shit! Because yeah. uh, recently I, I I seen the movie again. Yo, Your favorite fucking also, movie? My favorite fucking movie. It was like a fucking lot. They would these these guys would always make fun of me because every time we talk <laughs> about watching a scary movie, I'd always be like, "Yo, let's watch As Above, So Below." So. But it is a good ass movie. I'm not gonna lie, it's a good ass movie. It's a good scary movie. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, you guys are all all familiar with the Paris catacombs, right? Yeah. Like the history behind it and stuff like that. So. From what I saw from the movie was that it's like a just like a graveyard, I guess, right? Of people, like yeah, or what, what it's yeah. supposed to be, like, like basically, like in the fucking 18th century, like there was a it was a it was like a king or or somebody. I think it was uh, King Louis the the 16th, and uh, he basically the fucking the 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 the, the cemeteries were being over, overflowed with fucking bodies, and then they didn't know where to put them, so they decided to to make the catacombs, which is basically like a another fucking city under fucking Paris yeah yeah full of like that fucking bodies like skeletons fucking so skulls it's a cemetery like like cemetery, cemetery for people yeah. yeah and it like runs for fucking miles bro like I, I, don't, I don't know I don't know how like how long or how like deep, deep it is but I know it's fucking huge bro yeah but what I wanted to get at was uh, there was um some explorers who went down there I think in the early 2000s and they had found uh, th- like they were exploring like a uh, like a deep part, like deep ass part of the fucking catacombs that has not been explored yet, and they found like a fucking camera. I don't know if you ever heard about this shit. My brother no. told me about this. But actually. they found, but they found a camera, and they took it to the authorities. The authorities took a look at it, and then what they saw in the camera was like footage. It was like the footage is like forty minutes long, but only some of it is like out in the public. It's like a, it's a guy. He's basically exploring the the catacombs. Like he looks like he knows what he's doing. And then eventually he just like starts following these arrows on the on the on the walls and on the on the floor. And then out of nowhere he just starts getting like frantic and he he starts running and, and then he drops, drops the, the camera. camera right? Yeah, and then like all you hear is him running and like just he just keeps running. He doesn't he doesn't go back for the camera. He just like keeps running, and like the whole like thing is like yo he was he alone? Did he see something or was he just like afraid that he couldn't find his way back? But it's also all it's also like uh, people are saying that. Maybe the video was a hoax. Maybe it was actually real. Like that's a whole like argument. Somebody just have. put that camera down there too. Yeah, because like uh, I think, I think uh, how did the guy's name? There was a guy who basically made a documentary about it. Um, what's his name? Uh, something free Freeland. Oh, Francis Freeland. He made a documentary about it, and like it was like an ABC documentary. And, like, mm, people mm-hmm. say that it it was a hoax because maybe he. Uh, did the footage to get more like uh, viewers on the fucking yeah like an expose for yeah him as yeah well. basically but I, I'm showing the, t- show you guys the video just so you guys uh wait the video of the guy no yeah yeah, yeah. what the fuck somebody just you walking can hold it. Forward, forward, forward. I already saw it but like so basically he's filming what he's seeing very deep inside the catacombs like see bro other than the point of view shots are pictures of bones human bones. Occasionally stops and he photographs bone, often in the shape of an arrow. These arrows point in a direction. Occasionally also he stops to photograph roomfuls of bones. Which means that he's very, very deep inside the catacombs. What happened to him? Nobody knows. There are ways to match things up, to, to, to try to identify where this person was in the catacombs. At times you'll see there's signs, painted signs on the wall, which is not uncommon. People have been painting in the catacombs for for centuries. So it is possible with these paintings uh, that we may be able to be traced by Tinderary to some extent. After about 40 minutes of these point of view shots and these pictures of bones, uh, the person begins to walk faster and faster. Then he begins to run. We hear his breathing get louder and louder, uh, as though something was scaring him. He was, he's, he's frightened, he's frightened. Occasionally he stops, perhaps, to try to decide which way to run among all the many different corridors. He's running faster and faster and faster, deeper and deeper into the catacombs. And all of a sudden, he drops the camera. He just dropped. The camera just drops on the ground and keeps rolling. And you see his feet just run away. Bro, the fucking the catacombs are fucking scary as fuck, bro. Like mad shit down there. Nah, the, yeah, in that movie, <sighs> fucking 
the movie as well so low really like showed a little bit of it which yeah. i thought was fucking crazy as well like like the whole like i know i know when you enter like it's it says like uh you are now not now you are now like uh stop you're entering the um the empire of the dead something like that or the empire of death what yeah. the fuck is it makes that? sense bro yeah. like there's so many people down there that have passed like and like there's another story of uh i don't i don't know when exactly this was but there was like a hotel door a door a doorkeeper the hotel doorkeeper and uh, he had w- he had went down there uh, to explore, and he only bought himself like um, a candle, like as his light. What the fuck? And nothing to to reignite it. So then, whenever the fucking candle, the candle was, done. Was, was was like blew out, he didn't like he basically also panicked, and then um, he uh, he uh, he he did he was trapped under there. He was trapped in there, and like his fucking body was found like eleven years later. And the only reason they knew it was him was because of his keys that he he had with him. Shit. Yeah. Fucking hell, bro. Wow, bro. Nah, I mean, that, that I think that's scary because if, if the guy was really trying to find a way out, which kind of is makes sense a little bit, yeah, you'd start to panic, bro, because mm-hmm. it's just like you don't even know where the fuck you are. It's everything's dark. There's nobody there, bro. So it's just like, deeper. yeah, and you don't even know if you're going deeper or you're getting out. Like yeah. at one point, no matter if you're going one way, just one second it takes to really like get distracted and be like, wait. Which way was that coming from again? Like, yeah. And then it's just like... It's like a fucking maze down there, It really bro. is, bro. And it's only, and even though it's only two ways to possibly go, one or one way or the other, but like I said, just it just takes one second to like really stop thinking and to really like get distracted when yeah. you're like, wait, where did that come from? And how are you really going to know which way you came from? Like, yeah. you're not really going to remember kind of in a way. And I also want to talk about like... Um there's, cause there's, there's another there's another catacombs um, graveyard in uh, in Ukraine. I think it's mm-hmm. uh, Odessa. Mm-hmm. And there was like there was like there's like a legend of a girl that went down there. So basically, like I think around 2005, there was a there was a girl. Her name was Masha. Mm-hmm. She uh, um, her it was her and a, and a large group of friends. They went down there to explore because I guess they were drunk. They was just like fuck it, why not? Mm-hmm. And I guess she eventually ends up separating from the group. And the group kind of forgets about her, like and like until like they come out and like they realize, yo, like where the fuck is she? And she fucking ends up dying, like uh, up due to like starvation and not no, yeah, starvation, dehydration, and uh, I think they find her body like uh, I think years later too. Shit, bro. I think I have to look at the picture about it too. The catacombs is a different vibe, bro. Or yeah, anything bro. Al- along those lines. Bro. Yeah, I think something like supernatural is down there, or yeah, I think it's just like people being I, stupid I, and they get trapped. Or? I think I think it's the mixture. Of, I think it's a mixture of both, because bro, it's literally like a graveyard. Yeah. There has to be something, bro. Because energy energy doesn't die, bro. Energy just keeps going. So imagine a bunch of people who obviously at one point had energy. Imagine that guy who was uh like recording and stuff and he just drops the camera he started hearing mad people screaming or something like that's that. what i'm saying you never know bro Probably and thought. then like mind games too bro like once you start like losing it you start picturing and you start really uh hearing shit hearing shit yourself yeah that um, might not even be there and like so. i said um they did find her body two years later and they and i have the picture of it uh, uh i'm gonna blur a little bit out but if you guys want to see the picture you guys could google it because it is it, it, it probably will get flagged you gotta show us it's not, it's not like it's not like OD like like oh my god fucking skeleton? body, but like, I mean just just take a look. That's what they found down there. Well, that's at the cat- that's the catacombs. Or yeah, and the the, the, catacombs, the, the catacombs the catacombs in, in Odessa. Yeah, it's fucking decomposed. Oh my god, bro! But that's two years later scary. after she died. Yeah, well, that like that's like the legend that they say. Yeah. Oh my god, bro! That's f- oh my god. That shit is decomposed, bro. Yes. I feel like Jesus. no funny shit like awesome like explore shit. I would want to go down there. I would want to go down go down but there the, too, but the not only, too far. The only way we would go down there, bro, like me and my brother even thought about this shit, bro. Do you have like a rope attached like, to Like not a fucking rope, like a fucking wire made of fucking metal mm-hmm. tied around you, bro, like a cable or some shit long as fuck. Yeah. People outside like making sure the cable is good. And then a bunch of people with you with food and shit as well. Imagine, Lights as well. Ima- but imagine like uh, let's let's say let's say something I go down cuts there, the right? wire. Yeah, like I say I go down there and you're like you're 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 behind the other side like making sure the wire is good. No, then, but you have a team with you as well. Like, oh, there's a team of us. Okay, there. okay, but I'm just saying like imagine though like the wire just starts like fucking moving like frantically like getting pulled and stuff and then out of nowhere it just stops and then you pull it back and there's nothing on the other side. Like it just gets cut off, yeah. like in a way. 
Now that'd be crazy because it's. You know, you know what makes you think of, bro. I seen a movie. I don't know what movie it was, but it was some dumbass movie. Uh-huh. But like, uh, somebody entered entered like the pyramids. Okay. It was like this, like, uh, you know, one of those movie indie movies that like was wasn't it? really like mainstream, but it's like mm-hmm. just uh, one of those movies. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That never went in the theaters. It was just like a random movie, okay. right? And it was this movie about uh, these people who uh, discovered like like certain shit on, in the. In the pyramids, right? Mm-hmm. So they go inside the pyramids and stuff, and they end up like um, awakening something, right? Mm-hmm. And then like it's like a monster and stuff. It's like a big ass like man slash dog. Like, how, do you guys know who Anubis is? Yeah, mm, no, is? I don't think so. It's like a the Egyptian god of death, okay, like that. And it's this. He has a face of a like a you know Cholo. Mm-hmm. Like a, okay. A okay. Like a dog, big ass dog with sharp ass teeth. You, you ever seen the mummy? Nah, I haven't you seen. You ever seen it. the mummy? Because I'm saying the mummy, the, the mummy too. But just imagine uh, a big ass skinny werewolf. Okay. With long ass fingers and long ass claws. Mm-hmm. And like the face, but like hairless, like the face of Cholo. Yeah, yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. I think it's like Egyptian shit. Like I've, yeah, yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah, I've seen yeah. something like that. And uh, basically, it awakened that, and, it, and then in the movie, it's like. It shows like the the girl hiding in like the darkness and stuff, with the night vision camera. And you could just see the that motherfucker like running around trying to find them and shit. Yeah. And that just like made me think of that. Like like imagine like a monster like that, inside a that. place like that. It's even scary. It's like fucking barbarian, bro. Have you ever watched that I movie? Watched that movie. Yet. You watched that movie? Barbarian? No, I don't think I have. What a, well, I was gonna say, like I that. mean, th- 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 there's another video out there. Uh, I don't have it on me, but like I put it on the screen somewhere. But like. I don't know if you guys seen the videos like a, a guy exploring like a cave or maybe maybe he's explored the catacombs as well, but then like he's he's like with his dog, and then he ends up seeing like a like a dark figure, and mm-hmm. then like he end, and then I guess the dog doesn't want doesn't want to like keep going, and then they, they end up running out, but the figure is kind of like the figure that they saw in um in um as above so below. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you remember there was like a figure with like a hood. Okay, I think I it, was, it was like on like the figure looked like that. Oh, the, I saw that shit. It was a guy. No, it was a guy. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah it was yeah. like some cult shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I saw that shit too. Yeah, what? And the fucking like like I said, I don't have the video on me, but it's gonna be playing somewhere in the in, in, on that, the. That's even scarier, probably finding some cult shit down there. Yeah, bro. Like they like you you walking into something. There's people like surrounded with hoods and shit like. Somebody Doing tied something. down with a fucking Pentagon, and then you back up, and then there's people pushing you into going. Bro, that's, a, that, that's some uh, that's you some st- Sam and Kobe shit, bro. You, you stuck in here now, motherfucker. Sam and nah. Kobe, what they something like that happened to them? Because like, God, bro, they're fucking exploring. Like their exploring videos are crazy. I know, like they, a lot of like crazy shit be happening. To I know, them. I know, I, I don't know if it's real or not. What? I don't know if like, because uh, I seen this video uh, of Sam and Kobe, right? And like they were exploring like uh, an abandoned like asylum or some shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they heard screams in the background. I think they were. I think they were walking in the in the forest, or something like that. They, they, they were like they were walking in the forest, and I think I know where you're talking. They about. heard screams in the background, and then yeah. and then apparently it was real life murder or some shit. Oh yeah, oh, no, shit. That, that is true. That That's is true. real. That's that true. true. Yeah, like uh, it was a. Uh, I think the the victim was the victim's name was Lauren or something like that. I don't. I'm not too familiar on the case. I know. I know. I I forgot the name of the people, but I know that it. It was a boyfriend uh-huh. and a, a, a girlfriend, right? And apparently, yeah. like, they had problems and stuff. And then the girlfriend had texted one of her friends. Like, yo, listen, like, uh, my boyfriend, like, he's taking me to the this open field. Like, I think it would happen in Pennsylvania or some shit. Uh-huh. I could be wrong. But anyways, uh, she's like, yo, this my boyfriend's taking me to this field. Like, if anything happens, just know that this is where I am. Mm-hmm. And then, like... That's scary, bro. She ended up, like, getting shot by him, like... Yeah. I, I, oh. And then, like, in Sam and Colby, like... They hear the screams. In exactly the same location. Yeah. I seen, um... Jump and Drum talk about it. Good for real? Yeah, and it's true, bro. It's true for yeah. real? Damn, I didn't, I didn't know if it was real or not, yeah. bro. Because I didn't really find too much, like, information about it. But... That's crazy, yo. Imagine, Imagine, bro, you know how we went to the fucking... Fucking CV or whatever. And imagine we hear like some shit. Next thing you know, two days later, we find out that it was actual fucking murder, bro. Yeah, bro. That's crazy. I mean, to be fair, when we worked out at, at, at the park, before, remember when we heard screams? Oh, yeah. What park? Close. Uh, it was McDonald's Park. Oh, shit. And we heard like, like in the distance, we heard like a like a woman pleading for help type shit. Yeah. But we, was, didn't know, we didn't know if people were fucking around or not. But I Because it happened like three or four times and it stopped. Like, then we just forgot about it. And it was it was like eight, like nighttime type. Yeah, nighttime, nighttime. That's scary, yo. First, I, I wanna, 
I got this shit from I don't know if you guys know who Joe Rogan is. Yeah. Oh yeah. Of course. He has a podcast and shit, whatever. And he had a guest on on there, right? And he started talking about um, the Epstein Island, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know who Jeffrey Epstein is? Like yeah. he had a island or whatever where where like he mo- they molested like children or whatever. There's a conspiracy about it. Like apparently, like that's where a bunch of powerful people go, and obviously they do stuff that they're not supposed to and shit. But the guest who he brought on, I'm not really familiar with his name. I don't even know who the fuck he is. But he mentioned this clip, right? In a 1940 Pinocchio movie. Okay. I don't know if you guys know. Pinocchio. Yeah, yes. you guys ever, I mean, you guys ever cartoon, watched it? The cartoon, right? Have you guys ever watched it? Yeah. Yes. So I, I've what, watched it, but I don't really remember like the whole like movie. Yet. So there's this one scene where these like criminals are speaking, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, they start talking about Pleasure Island. Okay. And I'm gonna show you guys the clip and stuff, and I want to hear you guys, your guys' opinion about it. Oh, uh, coachman, what's your proposition? Well, how would you blokes like to make some real money? <laughs> well, and who do we have to? Uh... No, no, nothing like that. You see. I fucking hated that character in the movie. Really? Stupid little boys. Stupid little boys. You know, the disobedient ones want to play your game from school. Oh, and I take them to Pleasure Island. Uh, Pleasure Island. Pleasure Island? But the law, suppose they... No, no. There is no risk. They never come back. Or you fall and die. But he says they never come back as boys. Boy. Fucking. When I used to watch Pinocchio as a kid, I fucking hated that the not the fat character, the other two, the fucking cats looking, the one fox looking. Yeah. Guy. I don't know why they always creep me out. Really? Yeah, bro. I fucking yeah. hated them. So like, uh, the guy he's um the guest he started getting into the whole like Jeffrey Epstein shit and saying like, yo, it's crazy how they low key predicted. What the fuck was gonna happen now when yeah. he got exposed and shit like that? Or what? If, what if back that shit, then what? in the fucking cartoon, bro? I was gonna say, well, what if that shit was already happening at that time and it was just like poking fun at it? it That's could. what they say that uh, like the media does sometimes is like they take situations that are really happening, yeah, and they just like kind of mock it in a show and they make it seem like it's really it's not, not, a, it's not a big deal, but but it really yeah. is kind of happening yeah, at the same time. time. And this and this and this has always uh, I feel like the whole like um. Human trafficking, like, um, yeah, bro, kids getting trafficked and shit has always been a, a thing around. We spoke about it before how, like, there was that lady who, uh, saw, like, the bro, I don't know if you know, like, there was in Mexico, there was this lady who saw, like, a truck full of kids and stuff, dead kids. You know, and then, what like, kind of truck was it? Like, a it was like a fucking my, my seca oh. truck. And shit. then, like, two weeks later, she was ended up, she was, she, she was found dead in a barrel. And she basically, because she was reporting this to everybody, she was yeah. said in the news and shit. People didn't believe her, and then like uh, on the barrel, it said, "This is what I get for being a snitch." Damn. So it's like, bro, there's powerful people out there doing some weird shit, and I mean, there's nothing we could do about it. To be honest, at the end of the day, we yeah. could be, we could go missing tomorrow. You know what I'm saying, bro? So it's like, it's crazy. That that's real. Dude, I don't know if the show is that that could. That's just a conspiracy that the guy yeah. said. On the show, I don't know if that's real, but the whole human trafficking thing has been... Yeah, bro, it's real shit. Um, uh, I think I said it the last time I was on, when I went to Florida, yeah. and I think Virginia, we did like a random stop. There was a fucking poster that said, beware of human tra- pe- like human traffickers, yeah. like, because it's like a random stop, and like, it just like... It freaked me out because it's just like you're reading that and you're like, wait, what? Like this is re- this is a real it's, sign. It, it, like this it's is like, real it's like shit right you now? hear about this shit and you would never expect to like see something like that or like or actually think like yeah, like uh, it it's happen. actually happening. But then when you see it, it's like yo, like yeah, this this shit's actually fucking. Happening. Yeah, bro, it was fucking weird seeing a sign that said like beware. And then yeah. I like I started getting like paranoid of everyone that was there, like because you know you just never know who could be there. Like yeah, started looking around, started looking at mad people that were just standing there, and I'm like, what the fuck are y'all doing here? Like, why are you standing here for? I'm not gonna lie, that's one thing that like actually gets my heart like racing and stuff. Like I'm I'm fucking terrified when it comes to that shit because it's yeah. like, bro, you could just walk out of your house, bro, and like that's it. Yeah, you fucking really. get kidnapped. You know what I'm saying, bro? And um. And especially because of your family members, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
I mean, Julie especially is like number yeah. one. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying. And of that's course, that's uh, the fucking number one target. You know what I'm saying? Little kids and shit. I think that camera died. So sorry, guys. The, the cameras had cut off before, but I I did want to say like uh, as we were talking about the whole Epstein Island shit. I know. Um, w- do you guys know that conspiracy guy who uh, who people call him crazy, but a lot, a lot of his conspiracies came came true. Uh, I've heard about it, but uh, I don't I think so. His fucking really name. His name or anything like that. But basically, he he had a he had filmed like uh, the, the Bohemian Grove. You know what that is? Oh shit! You know what that is? No. It's, a, it's like uh, it's same thing, kind of like the Epstein's Island, but like uh, it was it was in L.A. that they did it before, where okay. they would go into like the woods, and uh, elites or like people like rich ass people would go and they would uh, basically worship this this owl god. Mm-hmm. It was this, this big ass. Just imagine this big ass owl statue, bro. Okay. Big ass owl statue made of wood, and then um, a bunch of people in like hoodies and shit, like. Cult cult. Shit, mm-hmm. and like a bunch of torches and stuff and like they were chanting and stuff and then like th- that there's that actual video of, of it happening somewhere on like if you if you look for it bro you'll find it yeah of course so like it's that and like people say that they would sacrifice kids they would do stuff like that like i don't know how much of that is true but mm-hmm. i know i do know that they would like worship this like um owl owl god. and like there's a lot of like famous people that would go there too mm-hmm. so yeah that's fucking crazy, bro. Yeah, bro. The whole the whole thing is fucking insane. Those are all conspiracies that like have been like talked about for mad long now, and uh, mm-hmm. yeah, that I mean that's it for the topic I had. To be honest, yeah. like I just wanted to show you guys it was kind of creepy and stuff. Well, I do want to. I, I do guys. I do want to go into this. Uh, so you obviously know uh, what Benadryl is, right? Benadryl. Yeah. Like the. Pill or? Yeah, the pill that okay. they use when, when you have like allergies, allergies? like a cold okay, and okay, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So that right. Uh, so back in like 2020, there was a challenge, the Bell and the Ben the Benadryl challenge, like where you have to take a certain amount, like 15 or or, or a dozen or more, to hallucinate. Okay. And what I want to get at is that like I don't I don't recommend anybody to like obviously go do it. I'm not saying to go do it, but I'm just saying like what people that would hallucinate on Benadryl is like they would see like a lot of shit. Like they would, it would be bad trips overall. Like they would see spiders, they would see snakes, wasps attacking them. They would hear like familiar voices and unfamiliar voices talking to them, the and hell? they would see shadowy figures. And they will also see like for some reason they would o- always see um, the Hat Man. Have you ever heard about the Hat Man? The Hat Man, no. So all, it's like another fucking shadow person, but it's, it's a fucking. Um, it's a sleep paralysis demon. Okay. So people a lot around the fucking world has seen this motherfucker for like years, years. bro. Like mm-hmm. set, like I, I would say centuries, because there's fucking websites dedicated to this shit. Like people talking about their fucking stories, stuff like that. And basically, the Hatman is like people. People believe he's like a a Green Reaper who like he would appear in your dreams, like if you're about to die or if like someone you knew was That's about to die. Mm-hmm. But the whole thing is like it's fucking crazy because. Everybody that would go on Benadryl or like majority would end up seeing that figure for some reason. Oh, and like, like it makes sense. Okay. Like, and, and it's kind of like, like the people have no like fucking relations to each other. So it's kind of like, mm-hmm. it's fucking weird how like they will all see the same, the same fucking person. Or they was about to die or something after taking so much Yo, Benadryl. Oh, that's crazy. Or uh, that, that could be it. Because be that's, that's what I was. That's the yeah. first thing that came to my head. Because I'm like, I mean, bro, you know, if you take. A lot of the same kind of medication yeah, you have a you could have a chance to overdose so like and if he's associated with death or anything like that like imagine it's like them kind of seeing kind of death kind of in a way coming for them in yeah. a way i'm not saying that it is or not but and like uh everybody would describe them the same way too like a tall like six to eight foot uh Shit, bro. Six he to wears eight a fedora foot. you can't really see his face like only like two red eyes and it's always like he's a sh- shadowy figure Shit, that's Bro, scary as fuck. And, and I remember uh, a supporter actually talking about how they had sleep paralysis and they saw, oh, yeah, yeah, they yeah. saw a man with a hat outside of the window, bro. And keep in mind, the window is like mad fucking tall. Fuck out of so here. So it's like, it, it, it's, and you said sleep paralysis, demon, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's so crazy how like this Loki made me even more scared because he was just talking about like a shadow person holding up the fucking current, bro. Yeah, and you just yeah. bring this shit up, bro. It's kind of like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Shadow like, people, bro. It's crazy. Like, when I was a kid, bro, I think I've said it, but I, when I was a kid, I feel like I used to see a lot of shadows of people. You like said I, you would see them in the corner of your eye. Yeah, I would always feel like I saw somebody or something there, like, uh, around me or something. Like, uh, different places around my house, I'd, I'd feel like I'd see something. But it's, it's weird, though, because even people who, are, who who weren't 
uh, having superpowers would still see him, even if they weren't on Benadryl or on drugs. So I, I do remember like seeing a story about a therapist who had like a patient, and he would always say that he would see the hat man. Damn, that's and fucking daylight. crazy. That's fucking creepy, bro. It, it kind of sounds like the. The the smile like if you ever watched the movie Smile you yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. you yeah. watched I haven't seen smile. I haven't seen Smile like, it's yeah. like oh you see the demon and like you start smiling you can't stop smiling and shit or whatever That's scary. or like the Candyman the Boogeyman this kind of gives me that type of yeah, vibe and shit. But I mean, I never wanna. <laughs> you never experienced like super awesome before. Right? Nah, bro, that's something I never have. Honestly, no, yeah, no. Nope. I only experienced it once. And really? Yeah, it was. It, like I, I, all I remember, and actually, kind of twice, cause like one, the first time was like an actual super where like I saw like a shadowy, shadowy figure, like I felt like I couldn't move, I couldn't talk, and then like I saw it like the corner of my closet, and then like I just closed my eyes, I prayed, and then like it went away. Mm-hmm. Then the second time was it was back when like the back, you know, the back rooms. Yeah, I heard. About it's like them. it's like back when that shit was like really really trending, mm-hmm. and uh, I had a dream that I was in the back rooms. I was in my bed, like my hallway was the back rooms. Like basically, once you get out, it's the fucking back rooms yeah. of my room. And that sounds fucking crazy. And then, fucking and then like crazy, I was I was sleeping, and then I just remember waking up, seeing my hallway like uh, the, the the light was on. It was the back rooms, and then something not wanting me to wake up because I was telling myself like, "Yo, wake the fuck up! Like you're you're like you can't fucking move." Uh, you can't you can't fucking talk and I remember like saying like yo, uh, if you don't wake up you're probably gonna like stay here and like I ended up like waking up, but it was just weird like the whole. <laughs> what the if you ended up in the fucking back rooms, bro? I, that's what I'm saying. Bro. It was like uh, I don't Shit. know, but, like just that whole that whole experience too was kind of like. Uh, like I know you said you had a dream story that you. Wanted oh to yeah, yeah. I was about to say, I was about to bring that up too. So, um, actually, so. I had a best friend. You guys know Brandon. You guys remember Brandon, right? May's brother. He was uh, like my yeah. best friend, right? Yeah. So a couple months ago, or like a year ago already, I had a dream. I haven't seen him since 2020. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're not really close like that no more. Damn. So I haven't really seen him. So I had a dream that I went to a smoke shop. Like me and him were hanging out. We went to a smoke shop together. Mm-hmm. And uh, at the smoke shop, while we were at the counter, like, looking at weed or... For some reason, we were in the car, but we were in the store at the same time. Like, we were in our car at the store. But it was... I don't even know how to explain it, but it was a dream, bro. So, like, mm-hmm. we should be happening in dreams. So, we were somehow in the car, but in the store at the same time. And then we were at the counter. And then a fucking police officer, like, comes, like, like into the store and, like, get like gets close to us. Like, right, right next to our... Right next to my car. Mm-hmm. And while I'm with him, like the, I would tell him like, yo, put put it down, put it down, cause there's a cop right here. And uh, he does puts it down, and then we end up leaving. And I'm I, I'm like, we ended up leaving, and then I'm looking at my mirror in my car, trying to make sure that the cop isn't following, and then he doesn't, right? So it's just like, uh, the point of the story is, I haven't seen this kid in basically three years, bro, yeah, yeah. almost three years. Yeah. One day. We were gonna go smoke, so we stopped at the smoke shop real quick. And then I walk in, I get what I had to get, go back to the car, and then May tells me, "Oh, um, Marlene wants to get something from the smoke shop. Can you take her real quick?" I'm like, "Yeah, let's go." We were already there, so I'm like, "All right." So we go to the smoke shop again. The second time I go to the smoke shop, guess who the fuck was in the fucking smoke shop? Don't no way. Brandon was in there, bro. Brandon, the first time I had seen him. In almost three years, and I saw him the where I saw him in my dream, a smoke in shop. a smoke shop, bro. Yep. I mean, you, I mean, you do say, it, bro, that the fucking dreams that you had sometimes can like correlate to like yeah. my future, but it just like I didn't even think about it until uh, like a couple months later, where I really started remembering, like, oh shit, I remember I had that dream that I went to a smoke shop with Brandon, and we almost got caught by the cops, and then I see him at one, like months later, like that shit was that's, crazy to me, that's such a crazy and I was like, damn, like. And um, we don't have a close relationship like that, but, like, I saw him, and I still, like, went up to him, and I still, like, you know, I shook his hand. I'm like, yo, it's good to see you, bro. Like, you know, he's my boy, bro. Regardless of anything, like, at one point in my life, that was, like, my brother, like. Yeah. And I'll always consider him that, so. um, Yeah, bro. I just thought it was crazy that that would fucking happen to me. And then I did... Remember the first time I, sp- I spoke about my dreams? I talk about this uh, this place in the middle of the woods, like uh, a place that I the, continuously the reoccurring dream, yeah. I had a dream at this reoccurring place in the middle of the woods. 
So one day I was working and I went to go do a delivery right here by um I don't know if y'all know the street called Lafayette. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, Lafayette. It, yeah. Um by Lafayette there's another street called Prospect. Mm. So I'm on Prospect. There's like a little like um like a children's spot and like the back is like it's like guarded by like a fence. You really have to go and see you have to go inside this like um this gate. To really see the place. Don't tell me you saw the fucking building. So I'm do I'm doing the fucking delivery, bro, and um I'm driving, and there was like a like a hut, and there was like trees around it. But the moment like I'm driving and I just decided to look at it, it just like boom, like I just it just took me to the dream, like just took me to that sp- to that space where I saw that fucking house to to that where I saw that reoccurring place. And I just looked at it, and it just took me there. And for a second, I just was like, like I just had that feeling of like, shit, this is it, this is the place. But then I looked at it, and I'm like, wait, but this is this is way too small. Like the in my dream, it just looked like, like huge. Like this yeah. this is just like a regular little uh, hut. It's not really that big. So I'm like, I don't know if just like the the placement of the trees and the way how run down the the hut looked, that it looked like it was like that same spot, but it wasn't. But I just like. And I don't know, like, it was just, like, kind of just weird that I just, it took me back to that specific. Ma- imagine, uh, like, your dream is just, like, you, cause wait, like, in your dream, do you look, like, the way you look now, or do you, or you couldn't see yourself? You know, like POV. I was going to talk about that, too, that as of late, like, not too long ago, like, a week ago, two weeks ago, I had a dream where, like... You saw your reflection? No, like, I, I was actually conscious of what I was doing. Like, you ever dream, and, like, you just do things in your dream without really... Lucid dreaming? Well, what's 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 like a lucid dream? So lucid dreaming is when you could control, like you know that you're dreaming and you're controlling what's happening in your dream. So I don't, w- I wouldn't consider it that, but I, but I remember in my dream really thinking of the consequences of what I, what I, what it could actually happen of what I was doing in my dream. Okay, but was it like POV, like or was it third person? Nah, it was like fake POV, third person at the same time. Like I remember like really uh thinking about it but then like as i thought about it i became like like not myself no more like i was like something else like Mm -hmm. i was like out of it like but i knew that i was thinking about what i was gonna do and i knew that it was a dream like i knew it all like i just thought about it i'm like yo like like i just started thinking about like yo what if what if i did this right now but what if i did that right now but then i was like wait but i'm dreaming right now like it there's really no like kind of meaning to this at the end of the day Mm -hmm. yeah but um, because I I was gonna say because like what if like the dream the dream with the reoccurring place, maybe is a younger version of you. But that's why that certain place looks looks bigger. It could have it could be, but I've never been there before, and I don't even mm-hmm. know what it is exactly. But okay. I, but it does make sense of something like that. It just it just seeing it and then just like um, having that little moment of uh of it like taking me back to my dream like out of nowhere was like kind of surreal i should have taken a picture of it so i could have showed you guys but we could literally drive to it right now and i could show it to you right now so it's like it's really no problem if you guys would want to see it because i could show you guys it at any moment that you guys want but that it happened like the way it just happened like the way i was just driving i saw it and then it just boom like i just felt like i went back bro i just got fucking nostalgia right now for some reason like like uh i I, I, a memory just popped up that I forgot about. Like, um, like I remember, it. like this is like kind of off, off topic, but it's the same thing. Not really, but basically back in like when I was, uh, I would say four years old, I think, mm-hmm. or like around around the, around that Damn, time, yeah. around that time, uh, I lived somewhere like um, it's called like Barker Street or whatever. Barker, it's like on, mm-hmm. uh, it's on Castleton, and um, it, I lived in the, like it was like a big ass house. Like we was like sharing it with somebody else, and it kind of reminded me of um. Uh, monster house but it, it was just painted white but i remember one time where uh, i was outside and i don't know if we had like a get together that day or i don't know what it was but i was outside across the street looking at the house and and um i was and then like all i remember is seeing like a shadowy figure with like a tail like basically run up and down like the roof like it, it went down and then it went back up but like it was like big bro it was like it was like mm-hmm. huge, mm-hmm. like I, I mean, I, I, it kind of looked like a monkey, but bro, we, there's no fucking monkeys in yeah, fucking facts. Santa, Santa Island, bro. Like what the fuck? And I and I just now remembered about. it. I was like, I, I never, I never knew what what the fuck it was, and I yeah. just like forgot about it. That's fucking crazy. Now yeah. that you mentioned a house and monster for some reason, bro, 
You know what else I also dreamt that I felt like I didn't spoke that I remember because I remember when I first started speaking about my dreams, I tried to talk about them, but I had this moment of like I couldn't I couldn't really think of anything besides the ones that I spoke about. So I you know the movie Halloween, you know how it's like about the sister trying to kill Michael Myers or some shit like uh-huh. bullshit like that. Yeah. So I had a dream that I was doing something like that of like I, but I was like the one trying to kill Michael Myers and for some reason I was in a basement by like a like a small door basement and like I remember seeing like looking down and just like seeing him there and I would like throw something at it. Then I I'd leave and I'd get some like another weapon and when he's like I'm about to like be okay to start walking up I'd throw something again, and like he'd go down and then like just like, just doing it over and over you know. But the thing that I remember was the the way that the the basement looked. It kind of reminded me of when we filmed at um at your house. You know, uh, your I little basement. Flea, I kind of had a feeling you were gonna right? see my basement for some reason. Yes, bro, his basement. You know how it looked like how it was like just like small and then like it just like has boilers went has down. Like, like yeah, it just yeah, like yeah. I don't know how to explain it, but just like the way it looked like like for some reason I felt like it has something to do with that because we filmed like a a pretty creepy video yeah. that day, like. Yeah. Of what we were doing, you know? So it was like a monster going into the basement. And so, I don't know. Like, I just thought about it not too long ago. And I just, like, maybe I just make connections with dreams sometimes with reality. I mean, in, in the dream, like, when you went down in the basement, was there a door to open something? or was Yeah, it, it was a door open. But we also had, there was also, like, a gate there, like, separating, like, basically, like, a dog gate. You ever seen, like, a dog gate that, that they put, like, to block a to block stairs so they don't go down? Or, like, a yeah. baby? Yeah. Yeah, so, like, I had, like, a gate like that. So I remember seeing that also, but... I know yours didn't have that. I thought I know yours was just like completely open and shit. Yeah. But I mean, like before, uh, before like my basement used to look like that. Uh, it basically my basement used to be huge. Like it was that little small place, and then like there was a doorway to go to like a, another place was like, which was more huge, okay. which is now o- occupied by the pharmacy or whatever. Okay. But like people like for like storage and shit, but. Before, like there was used to be, a, there used to be a door there where you could open, and like now it's like it's like covered and shit. What the fuck? Yeah, that's crazy. Nah, this shit gives me like insidious vibes, bro. Yeah, I definitely get like, that vibe too because like, I, 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 I've also dreamt of a red door too. Like even like insidious. Yeah, yeah I remember you talking about that. I don't know if that. I if it was just like the Cause, seeing cause, it in yeah, the movie yeah. and then somehow just seeing it in my dream, but I've I've I have dreamt a red door before. Just looking at it though, I've never really. This that's crazy how like like connections in real life to dreams and shit like yeah. it's, it sounds so coincidental but at the same time it makes sense it's not yeah, like you're yeah. making it up you know yeah like i actually had a dream um the other time about uh us three actually mm-hmm. oh really yeah it was us three and uh oh, the one you told me last time? yeah it was us three and we were like at somewhere like an airport or some shit right yo like, let's go bro we're going to la i don't, <laughs> nah, I'm I, I don't I'm know if it was like an airport or like a police station or like mm-hmm. like somewhere where in order to get in we had to go through security, a glass door. All right, think about it like this. So it's like a glass door with like a, like a, I guess, a booth. Mm-hmm. And then to the left, it's like gated. Like you can't really go in unless he doesn't buzz you in. Yeah, it's like, okay. it's like the movie theaters, basically. Type shit, but he has to buzz you in. Okay. You have to open the gate. To mm-hmm. Like a, like a bars, like kind of like jail type okay, shit. I was about to say like a jail. Yeah, like like what a the jail, hell? right? Uh-huh. But it also like looked like the inside of a gym. Mm-hmm. So like the the way to get out was one of those gym doors where it's like the bar and you go like Shh, you gotta push you gotta push you know what I'm saying yeah yeah and uh, I just remember us waiting in line and stuff and you guys were like talking to the guy right or like I don't know exactly I think we were in line right here right I don't remember exactly I just know it was uh, me George and then you and we were waiting in line I guess the the guys were there the security was there but they were armed Mm -hmm. and out of nowhere bro like some guy opens the door Mm -hmm. and bro he's he it's him and his boy Mm -hmm. one of them pulls out an ar-15 bro and the other one pulls out a shotgun bro he just starts shooting us he fucking shoots all of us bro he probably thinks he killed all of us bro but i'm still alive but he shot me in my legs and then, like, he's making sure to sh- kill everybody, bro. Like, mm-hmm. he's killing everybody. Boom, 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 boom. And then um, I'm just thinking in my head, bro, I'm next. He runs out of bullets. And then this motherfucker is reloading his gun, bro. Then in order to kill me to make sure I'm dead, bro, instead of just shooting me, bro, he's, like, 
doing trick shots with me, bro. Like he's like spinning oh his God. gun, and as he's spinning his gun, he's pulling the trigger. So it's like, <laughs> but he's not shooting me; he's missing. Mm-hmm. And then he runs out of bullets. He's like, "Fuck!" And I'm like, "Yo, this is my time." So it's like he's about to reload, and then as he's about to put his fucking the other clip in, I like get up mad fast, even though like I was shot. I get up fast. I push his friend, which was right next to the door. I push him and I run out. I see the like I see that we parked Matt close to the spot, literally mm-hmm. like right in front. And I'm like, nah, I can't get in the car, bro. Cause what if he ha- they have a car and shit? They could just follow me, fucking shoot me or whatever, bro. So I go up the block. I make like a left turn, bro, and then I see a nice ass neighborhood, bro. Like nice as fuck. And then I see a bunch of houses, but I'm like, fuck it, bro. I can't just keep running, bro. I'm gonna have to get it either into somebody's backyard. Or go inside the fucking house. So I go inside the house. Like a random ass house, bro. It's like an Asian family and stuff. I'm like knocking on the door. I'm like, yo, yo, help me, bro. Like I just got shot. Like they just killed my friends. Like they're trying to kill me. Mm-hmm. They let me in. They had the window wide open. I tell them to fucking roll down the, the like the, the blinds and stuff. They close the blinds. I peek through it. And then I can see them like with a bunch of them though. Now it's not just the two. It's a bunch of them with guns. And they're like... Like pointing to like their their friends to look in each house and knock on the houses and stuff, mm. and I, uh, the cops like I guess some of them I I think I told somebody to call the cops or they had called the cops already, then the cops show up and then I wake up. Puta. But like it's fu- crazy. It's, fu- it's just fucking crazy, bro. It's so random and stuff, you know. Yeah, like, like it's crazy how fucking how much dreams could like go like they go from being simple to fucking crazy. Yeah, right? bro. Go, like, but I woke up from that dream fucking scared as hell, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I woke up scared as yeah. fuck, bro. Like, I, like I felt like like some like, bad shit just happened type yeah. shit. Mm-hmm. Remember that before? Remember when you had texted me that um. You texted me if I wanted to be on the podcast, and I was like, yo, you know what's so crazy? I actually just had a crazy-ass dream tonight. Uh, you texted me, and let me see. Oh, and you was like, some crazy shit happened to me, I gotta write it down? Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. some happened? crazy-ass dream. Yeah, so that was actually kind of along the same lines as, as what you're saying, where, um, but I wasn't, we we didn't get attacked, so, you know, it looked like I was in, like, the city with, like, a bunch of people that we went to, like, high school. It was like if it was, like, a high school trip. But I'm not just like one class. I'm talking about like freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors all went on a trip together to a certain place. That's what it looked like. So it looked like we we all took a trip to the city. And while we were in the city, I was, uh, you know, everyone that I'm pretty much close with now went to high school with me. Like you or like, you know, May, friends like that. So all my friends were, were there with us. But for some reason... I started getting into arguments with literally, like, everybody that I think that I'm close with. Like, I got an argument with May. I got an argument with my father in my dream. I got into an argument with... I don't even know how I was with my dad, but somehow he was there, too. He was there, too. I got an argument with my friend. And then, literally, I met up with this one kid that I know. His name is Brian. He was, like, when I was a freshman, I think he was, like, a a junior or senior. And um, so I was with him and then just decided he just out of nowhere decided to just take out a gun. He that I just started shooting people. And since I was with him, I was like kind of like an accomplice with it. Like, that's the way I felt about it, you know, in my dream. So there he is. He just started shooting at fucking random kids like on the trip or in the city, whatever. And then I start I started like like I kind of had gotten scared at what the fuck was going on. And I was like, yo, I got to get the fuck out of here. And um, I started, like, running away from him. And I started running, like, I went into, like, a subway station and I was running. And then eventually I ended up back into the, back in school, like, back at, back at Port in, like, the, the lunch room kind of in a way. But the lights were off. But, like, it was daytime. So there was still, like, sunlight in the, in the lunchroom, if that makes any sense. And all the kids went inside the fucking lunchroom. And then, like, we just were in there, like... Just like kind of chilling, we just put music on and everybody was just chilling in there, and it just, oh, it just went fucking crazy. But it was just like, the amount of chaos that had taken place before that was just like, crazy, like was like out of nowhere too. Like just fighting with my girl, fighting with my dad, fighting with my friends, and then just pulling out a gun, just shooting a bunch of people, then me running away from, running away from him, and then I felt like the cops were following me because obviously, like, then I just like I woke up and I just was like. What a fucking wild range of emotions to feel like 
in a dream. Like, I woke up and I felt like I had just lived through that whole situation where I was like, yo, what the fuck was that? Like, that was a fucking roller coaster, yo. And then, you know, I just woke up and then just went about my day, bro. Then I got a text from you guys later on that day. Because I kept thinking about that dream because it was, like, kind of scary. Yeah. So I kept uh, I kept thinking about it. And then I got a text from, you know, be part of the <laughs> podcast. And I was like, yo, what the hell? Like, that's mad funny that I would, that I just had this, like, crazy-ass fucking situation dream. And then my son George just texted me if I want to be part of the podcast again. Yeah, It's crazy because we always have, well, I mean, I feel like a lot of people have these types of dreams where it's like, because I have it a lot. Like, I either dream in an auditorium or, like, recess or some shit. But I always dream everybody that I have ever met in school. Mm-hmm. Everybody, like, stemming from elementary school until now. Obviously, everybody's matured and, and grown and stuff. But it's, like, everybody's in the auditorium. And and recently, like, I've been, I've been getting fucking dreams about that. I've always get this. I guess it's a fucking nightmare that I had for, like, my whole life. That I'm always late. Or I'm gonna be late to a project. A project? Like like a school project. <laughs> like a school project. That's crazy. Like like oh like I'm asking people like yo like like how the fuck am I gonna do this? Like yo what do you think I should do this and that? Mm-hmm. Everybody already has everything figured out and shit. And then like I'm just like over here like behind like yo but like what should I do? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like of course. this and that and like um and then I wake up and I'm just like mad like anxious and jittery and mm-hmm. shit from the dream. So my last topic was um, There's this actually documentary I watched um, It's not a documentary It was a movie It's called The Good Nurse Okay uh, It's uh, it's on Netflix and shit And there was this guy His name is Charles Cullen Right mm-hmm. And basically uh, He was a uh, A nurse In New Jersey And the Pennsylvania area okay. So it's mad fucking close from here You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying And this shit happened in uh, I believe Since the ninth. Oh, let me get the right dates 1987 to 2003 Okay. He was active, right? And uh, basically, like, every single hospital that he was working at, out of nowhere, people just started dying more often. What the fuck? Like, it was weird. Like, he started working there, and then, like, the death rates started going up and up and up and up and up. And people were, like, wondering, like, why the fuck is everybody dying, right? If they were perfectly fine the day before, yeah, they weren't even in no critical condition. They were nothing, bro. They were fine. The next day, they die. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then people were like, there was this lady who said that some strange man came in, a nurse came in and injected something into her saline bag. And like nobody kind of like paid attention to it. And then she ended up dying the next day. Mm -hmm. So uh, people were getting skeptical and stuff and they were focusing on Charles Cullen, right? Yeah. Because he was a little weird, suspicious and stuff. But when they were getting suspicious of him, he would just switch like Mm -hmm. like, hospitals and stuff. Oh, he would go to a different hospital. So he kept doing this for like a good minute, bro. And uh, until his f- in the in the movie, uh, his his friend and shit is uh, what's her name? Um, Amy Lock Lock Lofren Lofren some shit like that mm-hmm. or Locker and some shit. But basically, like she started getting close to him and stuff. She thought that she was in the, he was a good person and stuff. Mm-hmm. They clicked automatically. But the cops were on his ass as well, right? Yeah. So uh, she started getting suspicious as well. Until they finally decided to get her, since she was so close to him, to try to make him confess to what he was doing. And basically, uh, she set him up. They went to, like, a little diner and stuff, and they started talking about it. And he he basically confessed to her, and he told she told him to go to the fucking authorities and say this. They finally fucking interrogated him, whatever. He uh, confessed to 29 people that he killed. Damn, what Damn. the hell? 29 people that he killed, but, 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 they're saying that it was, it possibly could have been 400 plus. So, uh, he only confessed to 29, bro, but the reason why they're saying it could have been 400 plus is because he was injecting saline bag, like, uh, he was injecting insulin into saline bags. He was also injecting, like, uh, heart medication and adrenaline into these bags, right? Yeah. So, some could have been going on when he was there. Oh, they get a fucked up saline bag, boom. And some could have been going on when he wasn't even there. Because he would just inject a bunch of them. So all the bags were fucked up. And the the nurses, the obviously they didn't know. They would just give these bags to the patients. Hmm. Was this uh, based on a true story? or like This is real life, bro. The movie is based on, on real life. The case that I just said. Well, oh, 
Oh, it's a, oh, okay. bro. This is the real life case, but the movie is on Netflix. It's called The Good Nurse. That's fucking crazy. This is a real life story. Charles Clinton is a real person. He's <laughs> oh, they he's, know what like a, a character. Oh, no, bro, fucking this movie. motherfucker is doing eleven consecutive life sentences. He's still in jail to this day in New Jersey, bro. Wow, that's fucking insane, bro. Motherfucker, you know, you thought the shit was a fake? I thought I thought you were talking about the movie, like the plot of the movie. No. What happened? Yeah, that's what happened in the movie. But like, but it's a yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Holy what? That's fucking he crazy. He killed like four hundred people, bro, in, in New Jersey and Pennsylvania area, bro, and it's so close from here, bro. Yeah, it is. Oh, you know, I, I recently I saw like a, a what you call like a screenshot of like someone talking about like what country produces the most killers, right? It's like they named, named the top five. Mm-hmm. So the fifth one is Italy's, like ninety-seven serial killers. Uh, Canada is 106. Uh, South Africa is 117. England is uh 166. Yo, the audio, the audio. And and the uh, the top fucking country that produces the most serial killers is fucking the United States. I kind of oh figured, God. bro. Which is 3,204. That's a fucking lot, bro. That's like 3, 000, fucking, bro. Bro, that's like triple, like nah, Quadru- that's like OD. That's like, that's, like, that's like, that's like, yeah, triple of every of everybody type shit combined. Yeah. Shit, bro, that's fucking crazy. Now USA is different, bro. Now yeah, they produce fucking a lot of sick motherfuckers. Like, bro, at it. one point we had like a serial killer problem, like in the yeah, USA, nah, yeah. Like, especially that's like crazy. you talked about it like 80s. back in the day and shit, yeah, like, 80s and 90s, like fucking 70s, 80s, oh yeah, 70s, 80s, yeah, yeah, 60s. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, bro. Is that that was your last topic? Or no, no, no. But no, because it just it just uh, went oh, to correlated you. to that. And shit. Yeah, but my last topic is a little too long. So and plus, I feel like we're, we're gonna be talking here till like two o'clock, bro. Yeah, so, fuck so, it. Let's so just, we just you have to like kind of wrap it up, bro. But uh, that concludes episode 50, sixty-two, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, uh, it was a, a long ass episode. <laughs> episode, bro. Facts, facts. Uh, thank you, fucking, thank you, Greg, for for pulling up on us. Thank yes. you guys for the invite, man. Bro, hopefully you could again uh, appear on another podcast episode. Facts, facts. Like hopefully soon or hopefully later. I don't know, bro. That's your fucking schedule, cause I know yeah, you. Yeah, so I'm sorry, sometimes. guys. I really wish I could have it open all the time. But, uh, I was gonna yeah. say, it's a, I feel like it's always a, a good ass episode, especially when. Uh, with Greg you're, here? Yeah, you're here, bro. Yeah, like I feel like more, like I, I feel like all the episodes that, you, that you've been on have done good by yourself. Awesome, awesome. So, yeah, glad. But before the uh, video ends, Patreon shoutouts. Shout out to Jose Aguilera, uh, Aguilera, Gabriel Balderas, Jose, Jaime Aureo Albavera, Cassandra, Abel Mendoza, Camilla, Kevin Z- Salinas, Fernando Medrano. ZF Zeus, Miguelito, Nico Granados, Will Jimenez, Michael Linares, Sean underscore 16, Richard Christian Lopez, Benji Outlaw, Alberto Cervantes, Jennifer Montalongo, and that space guy. We love you guys. Okay, love Thank you guys. guys. Uh, do you want to shout out anything? Uh, uh, or? Uh, stop by, get some food at my store, 409 Forest Avenue. Facts, facts. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Gregorio Perez. Uh, don't really post like I always fucking say. I don't <laughs> post, but you guys can still follow me. I post sometimes, like stories and shit. Um, and if you guys do want to see him in another episode, comment down. Uh, what what word should they comment down? Just say a random word. Anything that we talked about today or anything. Um, I don't even know. I guess dream. Dreams. Yeah, I feel like we talk about talk a lot, that. lot about dreams. Dreams, yeah. yeah. So, I yeah. feel like every time he's on the episode, we always talk about dreams. Yeah, because he's yeah, having crazy dreams. That's why I'll be I'm having some weird fucking dreams sometimes, bro. What the hell? But yeah, so if you got to this point, comment down the word dreams. Uh, we fucking love ya. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next episode, which we will bring some fucking juicy topics. And my my hint for that uh, episode is uh, I'm gonna say two things: short film and. Niños. But yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed and do not let this podcast go unnoticed. It's been your boy, uh, oh fuck, Ricardo, aka the Ricardo. And it's been your boy, Messiah, aka Messiah, aka George. And yeah, do not let this podcast go unnoticed. (laughs) (laughs) You're so fucking unprofessional, bro. Fuck you. Nothing to sign, stop it, I'm funny, you can't